Pero... Dime. Where's my screen? Oh, it says I'm live now, but I'm waiting for my my video thing to show up, but it's not going up. All right, now hey everybody. Is it there? I'm here. Uh, I'm here. I don't see it. I don't even you, see it up you there. You might want to talk since you're live, sir. Yeah, I know I'm live. That's all right. Fine. I don't care. Uh, hey, everybody, how's it going? It's uh, <laughs> John here. We would have a kid. Uh, scroll, saw, woodwork, video, blah, 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 and everything else. Um, today, project today, because I'm, 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 I'm tired of working on those other things I was working on before there. Uh, so, because uh, I'm not, not, not really ADD or ADHD. I just, you know, get bored really easy of stuff. So, what I'm doing today is I'm taking... Uh, Carrie wants these old, these old stupid metal air intake vent covers replaced. So I was down at, uh, you know, Kane Tire and uh, I seen some new ones in there. New ones are made out of MDF and, uh, or, or ABS plastic and they look like crap. And they're basically just a piece of MDF with router cut slots in it that just screw on. They want like 80 bucks for it. So, you know. We can make stuff cheaper than what they sell stuff for in those stores. Are you freaking bucks? It takes longer. It might cost more. <laughs> it might make us. It might. It might seem like it costs more, but you know it's cheaper in the long run. So uh, I'm building these uh, these new ones with this fancy design on them to make them look fancy dancy. Very nice. Hello, and, uh, Workshop, Larry Eldridge, Harnell Media, Steve Neal. So these are out of. I'm making these out of uh, half inch MDF. So that'll be the front piece there. And then the back piece, I'm going to uh, router out. It's going to be one and a half inches in, one inch on either side. Just just cut it out, pop it out. And that way it's, it's thick enough for the air intake to uh, work for me. Then uh, since they're MDF, Carrie wants to paint them to match the trim in the house and everything else. So that's what I'm working on today. And on the panel with us, we got uh, la, 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 Herb. He's muted. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Hello, hello, everybody. We have Stace Mix and Indy Mike has joined us. I'm not even in the chat yet. I am. <laughs> no, I'm in the panel right now. And we also got Johnny B with us. Tell everybody where they can find you, Johnny. <laughs> at Ashley Bradley Designs and on Facebook at John Bradley. And also, uh, incognito, we got the uh, Uniscroller with us. Yes. Too ugly for camera. Hello, folks. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> and also, over in the chat with us, we got join in. We got Stace Makes. We got in Mike, in Mike, 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 Larry, Tommy from Tommy's Woodshop, and Steve from Harnell Media. And do, 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 do. that's about it for now. So, uh, any questions, comments, or inquiries? Inquiries. When uh, is payday? The chat there. We'll be sure. We'll be sure and answer them for you. What's that? When is payday? When do we get a break? You don't get paid. <laughs> oh, and we appreciate you. Get... Y'all. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll throw that in there just because it sounds good to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so I can uh, either get started in on this right away or we can screw around for a bit. Regardless, I still got to drill some more holes. Well, it's your show. Carry on. So what's, uh, tell us what everybody else is up to today. I've got snow in Texas. Welcome snow to Canada. Snow in Texas. I'm not in Canada, sir. Well, I know, but so, that's the way we live. We got snow. Does that mean... Does that mean hell froze over? Uh, no. I don't have any damn gloves to make a snowman. Oh, I'm glad you got most of that down here wasted up here. I love snow. I'd, I'd rather deal with snow than rain. This is only like the fourth time in my adult life that I've seen snow in person. Yeah. So it's kind of nifty. I'm the only one in my whole household that wanted to frolic in it. Apparently, frolicking is why you, apparently why don't, you go out and, why don't you go out and make snow angels? Because I'll be all wet when I get done. Oh, 
Well, you can always do like you when you was a kid, go in there and get, raid the sock, sock drawer and uh, put them on your hands and make your little mittens. Well, they my socks ain't that thick. You just have a snowball fight if you want, Charles. Yeah, but that's why I need gloves, because I don't want to freeze my tender little hands. Well, that's why you put more than one pair on. I mean my manly, hey, manly, manly hands. Hey, John, you remember wearing Wonder Bags on your feet? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Have you? Frolicking naked in the snow, says Care Bear. That would be John's lovely uh, girlfriend and my wife. And I want pictures, ma'am. Hello, Karen. <laughs> so, John, John, you're actually old enough to wear it, to, to have worn Wonder, Wonder Bread bags on your feet? Yes. I have. Yeah. Well, I, in Germany, I had moon boots, what the, we called moon boots. Hello, Goddess VP Slayer. Austin says, Hi, man, and Papa. Do you know Goddess VP Slayer? Well, gee, I don't know. If you're saying, Hey, Nana, Papa, I'm pretty sure I know who that is. I don't, is what I'm asking. <laughs> your uh, <laughs> uh, 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 one of your children's children? One of my children's children. No, one of my children's. Uh, girlfriend's uh, mother of one of our grandchildren. Holy hell, that's so many people. No, it does. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> hello, hello, whoever you are, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. That's, that's all you <laughs> I'm just, I'm just the uh, uh, I, I could, I could have made it easy for you. But where's the fun in that? There's never any fun in mixing. By the way, folks, uh, I know. Try to contain your tears. I have been banned from posting to Facebook for, for 24 hours, so it'll be after 9 p.m. tonight before I y'all can see me post. We're never really on Facebook anyway, though. Well, I, oh, I'm usually on there, just not real active, but I can't post my link and going live and such and such. Well, like well I'm, said, still, I'm pretty sure we can always do that for you since, we, since Herb does it anyway. <laughs> Don't you? Because know, I'm a dedicated dual employee of what if I could and wouldn't visions.com. Look up. And, uh, but I have 3,000 plus followers and they won't see it. Yes, Stace, I am. And I don't know if John will let me say why I am. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, He's a bully. Was, somebody was a idiot. Somebody that uh, got their store broken into, and I finally lost my temper and called her a prissy cunt. And apparently, <laughs> Facebook doesn't like that. So, so Stace, pretty out. much typical American attitude just can't leave his business to himself, just has to butt, butt his nose in everybody else's business. Well, no, I mean, I mean, when I see somebody getting bullied, start. I go off when I see somebody getting bullied. It's like this lady was being blamed for a th theft at her store. And why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why don't you kiss my go to hell? <laughs> I, I hate a bully. I do. I really do. I'm sorry for my wordy, dirty language, but uh, I cannot stand a bully. And I will I'm rough. I'm rough and tough and stuff. <laughs> Okay, okay, Tigger. <laughs> Tigger? Tigger, yeah. I'm glad your uh, John's always family friendly on your show, but you're not on his, eh? Well, because I'm allowed to not be on his, but I did ask permission. Y'all heard me. I know. <laughs> oh, God, that's a first. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a happy go lucky guy. I love to be funny, but I'm telling you, that's one way to miff me off is uh, is to get be a bully or disrespect people. I'm just saying, I will stomp a mud hole in their butt. All right. <laughs> Hello, Stace. I'm waiting for that be police to come up there to me. Don't you mean you're going to stomp in their mud hole? I will stomp a mud hole? No. Yes, as I, I there's, mean, there's, 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 there's already a mud hole in their butt, right? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I left you guys a comment in the private chat. Right, yes, I am. Uh, stop I'm making me move over there. It is his email address. Okay. Just uh, so you guys see feel I'm in Facebook jail due to what they call bullying her and harassment. But so people can dish it out, but they can't take it back. Just saying. And Sammy says, also okay. says he loves you guys, but Fortnite is calling LOL. Of course it is. Video games are more important to children than anything else. 
Well, my uh, my wife my wife is a gamer, so I, I get it. But thank you for being here, Sammy. Thanks, Sammy. Say hey to Ozzy. Love him. Talk to you guys later. Unless you want to stay and watch. <clears throat> Take care. She says, "Facts, yo." She didn't say yo. Yeah. I, I was trying to sound. Oh wait, what's that? So I got 14 people watching. I got two on Twitch, one on Facebook, and 11 on uh, YouTube. She says, I can hear you, or he can hear you, and stay says she's playing a game right now. Carrie says, have fun, I'll see big hugs, and a uh, pinch on the honey, and Stace makes us, hey, Mike, and Midnight Joker <laughs> Mike has joined us. Uh, uh, her name says, but I believe all the time and you don't cuss at me. Well, that's because I don't want to lose my website, sir, for being honest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, I've cussed at him before, just not viciously. So, hey, you guys want to see something that I did the other day? Uh, if it's legal. Yeah, it is. See, just give me one second. I'll show you exactly what I did. Win the lottery? Nope. I love you if you won the lottery. Just saying. Yeah. I've been meaning to tell you how how dear you are to me. He got a second camera. Yep. Very nice. Man, he's trying to get a camera. <laughs> so I was on uh, I was on Jay's show the other day, and he was talking about uh, uh, him and Justin use mini cams. Uh -huh. Another program. And uh, so I downloaded it. And I was trying it out. It's pretty cool, actually, because you can run up to uh, on the uh, the free program. You can run up to two cameras, different positions. And uh, if you pay for the premium one, you can run up to six different cameras. And there's all these cool overlays and cool overlays and backgrounds and green screens, and everything else. <clears throat> but I don't know how to use it for uh, get it onto the uh, streamyard. I can't even get the pixelation to stop when the bandwidth is tanked. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to talk to them about that. Oh, and, and there, there, there is also a bandwidth, um, act, uh, like a, a bandwidth toggle on it as well. So you can actually adjust your bandwidth for the cameras that you're using, and your uh, your uh, DPIs that you're putting out on your cameras as well. Uh, David Jones would like to, or no, Justin would like to know: Did you pay fifteen hundred dollars for that second camera? No, we were talking about that. I'm like, hey, look at these cool cameras. They got these cool. Uh, they're called owl nests, and uh, they're they're for uh, multimedia streaming, and programming, and, and conference rooms and stuff. And they were like uh, uh, almost three grand a piece for each I camera. I wish there was something that ignored bandwidth and just said good quality. But uh, this camera, which is the same as my other camera, was uh, sixty five dollars. <clears throat> nice. At the Stepels. Staples. Nice. So I'm going to cutting MDF, which I really hate cutting. Yeah, shouldn't we be wearing a mask for that? Don't breathe. <sighs> no, because that's why I got my fancy air thingy. Oh, your air and my warm. fancy. Uh, I could I could turn my dust collector on too, though, but it's going to get loud. <clears throat> All right, we'll clean out my bottom section though. Clean out your bottom. And his wife, he let him go shopping. She never lets me go shopping. And I do need to publicly state that uh, John did pay off his shut up debt <laughs> because he couldn't shut up. Um, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, I thought it was Justin. Sorry, Jip. What? 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 He, he was trying to figure out who Just Therapy was, and it's a, it's Australian, mate, and I'm a drungo. Justin, yeah. So what is a drungo? <laughs> and apparently, it's a, like a backwoods hick in Australia, and it's not a polite term. So I'm proud to be one. Oh, so it's like a redneck. Yeah, because Jay had me thinking I did a decent uh, Australian accent, and uh, no, apparently I do not. Apparently, I suck at all the impressions I thought I was good at. Tommy's Workshop says, it's horrible when you just get used to a name and then they change it. Yeah, Indy Mike. Just hey, kidding. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Midnight. Uh, Stroller. Snuggler. Midnight Snuggler. With, hey, the hey. with the thigh-high leather boots. Lower girl. I mean, Hello. <laughs> Redneck is pretty, pretty close, says uh, Justin. 
Now, what what made yeah, you uh, yeah. do these into MDF, John? Because the ones at the store are MDF. You couldn't have made them out of wood. Well, I could have made them out of wood, but then they got to be half inch thick, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really going to make them out of freaking maple. Because Carrie, Carrie wants to paint them to match the trim anyway. So, <laughs> you know how much I like to paint wood. <clears throat> how much do you like to paint wood, John? I freaking hate painted wood. Painted wood is 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 like the one of the worst things you can do. <laughs> I it. It's like, oh, oh hey, hey, look at this really nice uh, fifteen thousand dollar old cabinet. I just bought it at the store. Let's whitewash it because it'll look really cool. It's good. we're gonna make it look uh, rustic. It's like, nah, that's not what you do. I happen to like rustic, mister. Yeah, but not if you're going to like, like whitewash $15,000 old cabinets. It's just, it's stupid. You, you just turn your $15,000 into $30. Bailey says, OMG, how you even see that is beyond me. Because if you look away from the legs and the bruises, you see leather. But you're the one that pointed just... out that they were thigh high leather boots. Just saying. <laughs> I was trying to think about Jesus and what he's done for us. And you had me thinking about Mr. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you were thinking about Jesus, right? <laughs> Every day I think about Jesus. Like, Jesus, why do I have to look this way? Stace says, I got to find a way of putting a handle on my cup thingy I made today. Well, all right. Well, uh, if, oh, I don't know what else to say without getting in trouble. I want some thigh high leather boots. Uh, they're called hip waders. <laughs> <laughs> for men, for men, they're called hip waders. Yep. They look just as sexy. And they're dual purpose then. She says, "I might jump on after I pick up generator." Uh, you need to only be wearing your leather boots, ma'am. You're gonna pick up a generator. She never jumps on my show. Yeah. You're just not. You never send her links. She never asked. Ah, uh, Justin says, "Sure, I'm so you, sure you saw her boots and said, oh, Jesus.' No, nope, no, nope, I'm I'm much more civilized than that." Hello, Pat H. Hello, Pat. Stace Mac says, "Would two part work?" I was thinking two small screws. Uh, I don't know. I've never built a cup. So anybody want to help? Uh, yes, uh, two part epoxy will work. Uh, you can use screws in it as well, or you can just dowel it on. Oh. <laughs> Steve Neal is bringing logic in here. He says, you keep asking her to wear only her boots, and you wonder why she won't show up, Charlie. <laughs> That's funny right there. Shaley says everyone wears boots. Yeah, if they don't wear boots, they go halfway up in the Hamadula. We have 14 people watching. We've been comments and questions. They play to ask, and uh, we'll have somebody answer them, and uh, we appreciate you. That's my show, Dag Blevitt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot way. where I was at. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we like you. Oh, thanks. Let's be friends. And, uh, wow. <laughs> David Jones, what in the blue blaze and Sam Hell is the daring doing here, traders? Wow. Why don't you give yeah, him 11 pretty, thumbs down, mister? <laughs> pretty, yeah, it's, it's, pre it's pretty wrong that you call us traders for being on Shay's show, but yet, you know, you're on our show. How's that? Yeah, how's that work? Because I'm not doing a show. Hello. Hey, Charles. Just, yes. just for the record, John has seven thumbs up and zero thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until the squid comes on. <laughs> Arnell Media says, after yesterday's show, I'm sure Herb will come up for and <laughs> just his boots for you, Charles. Say that you bought a generator. Well, I guess at that when she said she had to go pick one up. Maybe she's borrowing. Did you buy one of those big generic 
eight eight thousand watt generators for your whole house. That way, when the power goes out, you don't have to worry about it. Well, in the U.S., the power doesn't go out; it goes out. Really? The that was a little Canadian dig there. You know, it'd be kind of kind of hilarious. If we just turned our, our our water off to you guys, though. Eh? Or our resources. We don't get our water yeah. from Canada. Oh, what? What? Yeah, you do. You know how much drink... water from BC. You know how much water from BC and Alberta goes down to the states. I drink from the toilet. Thank you very much. Oh, there's there's. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. And they have floating chocolate bars. Millions, of, millions of gallons of water. She says, "Hell no, those are expensive." Yeah, think. How much water does the U.S. import from Canada? We have water sources. Why the hell would we need to? Nope. Why would we need to import from Canada? You import everything from Canada. Bull stank. Yep. What trees. Lumber? Yeah. Lumber. Water. We have trees. Gas. Y'all Canadian don't know nothing. Oh, yeah, we do. Eh, it's no Since 1850, Americans have been diverting much of the water of the Chicago River, which could naturally flow into the Lake Michigan and the Mississippi, blah, 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 which starts in Canada. Then why is it not called the Canadian River? Uh, in 2019, Canada exported 60,000 terawatts of electricity to the U.S. The saying. Yep. Well, here's my hard part. I don't get, go back in the hush. Does the U.S. import water? Oh, look at that. They bring water from That's stupid. Europe, France, Germany, Belgium. Uh, the U.S. also imports large water. Of water. Oh, oh, look at that. Look, look at that. The U.S. imports water from Fiji and France. That's dumb. Hey, John, just so you know, <laughs> well, you never hear about the states giving us anything, right? No, no, you never do. No. It, it, except, it, except like in trade tariffs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> Josh Grover says, is this a scrolling channel or a Google channel? It's both. It's a Google scrolling channel. <coughs> We're trying to educate trying to educate Americans about their, their export imports from Canada. <coughs> but why the hell would we need to import water? We have our own freaking water. But you got you you guys have so much destroyed wasted water. Oh, let's take a look at Flint, Michigan. Um no. <clears throat> that's, that's Flint, Michigan. I'm nowhere near there. <laughs> you still got to bring in water from Canada because water could flows I, down. Could you guys be self sufficient on your own? Without Hell yeah. Te Texas can succeed if they want to. What about your timber? We call that lumber here in the Texas. Uh, we got plenty of trees. It's timber before it's milled into, into lumber. I don't give yeah. a damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's trees before that, and we got trees. That's what's wrong with this country. Charles Derry ain't in charge of it. Vote for Charles. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Can you imagine how bad it goes to the trillions? Make America scared again. <laughs> the whole world would be scrolling. I, I'd have the U.S. to myself. Everybody would be leaving. <laughs> Larry says, you got a long way to try to teach me because I'm dumb as a rock. Josh Grover says, look at all the pollution in the USA. That's why we have to get water elsewhere. Well, slap them faces of the people that, that sit there and freaking pollute. All these extras live in Texas. Apparently, says, uh, uh, what's his face? Justin, Dave Jones, show me where my water source here in Georgia comes from. Canada, it doesn't. Thank you, David. And just for the record, I am sucking up today because I don't want 11 thumbs downs again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Charles, or, hey, John, you got 19 people watching. <laughs> yeah, if you have any comments or questions, throw them on out there. We appreciate you. <laughs> no, it says like a 20, apparently. What? If you have any comments or questions, throw them on out there. Thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> I'm in Texas. I know yeah, damn I Canadian water. Shoot. Yeah, see, I got 19 on YouTube, one over on Twitch, which is Kerry. Now, Argo Media says down south we can. I don't know what that means, what he's referring to, because I've babbled since then. But uh, yeah. 
Wow. He said we pr produce our own timber also. Just saying. Hello, David McClernand, wood turning and crafts. Hello. Hey, David. Uh, hey, David. Hello, Carrie's David. Dead. Carrie follows on both. John, can you breathe any harder? Can I what? I was wondering if you could breathe any harder. Uh, uh, yeah, I can. Oh, oh my God. Uh, yeah. Josh Grubbers in Illinois. We <laughs> get all the wood from my work in Canada. Well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he has good taste. <laughs> Right, John? Yeah, why? No. Josh Grover said. Yeah. yeah and I'll exactly guarantee you most of it probably most of it probably comes from Alberta, which is uh northern wood products, uh Taiga, uh Canfor, uh Warehouser. Those are all the wood mills we got around us. Well that sounds exciting as all hell. But yet our wood gets shipped down to Edmonton and then back up here. Yeah. And J Justin's not wrong. John really needs to keep his hands above the table if y'all going to make noises like that. For the record, John was the only one making noises like that. My blade broke. Oh, yeah. Oh, think? yeah. Just like that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, that wasn't me. That sounded nothing like me. <laughs> If, jo if John broke a blade, we should be taking a drink, shouldn't we? That's on Charles' show. That's on my show. I know it is. And I don't know what the hell language Larry is speaking, but he says, hey, girl. Maybe he's saying, hi, Carrie. Yeah, John <laughs> says, <laughs> oh, Steve, Steve, that's Steve, Steve, that is old news, mister. I have done that for everything. John sounds like Charlie when Shay comes in. Kiss my ass. <laughs> I've, been very, I've been very mature. You, you, how long have you been scrolling there, Snow Mexican? Uh, ten years. Oh, God, man. Why can't you figure that out? <laughs> figure what out? Uh, how to keep it from breaking and, and popping out the clamp and crap like that. I have not sounded like that in a long time, Shay. I don't, I don't Shay have a chance. But I don't, I, I don't get all googly anymore. And Josh Grover's got fighting words. It's better than what's on in Texas. All Texas has is long horns and oil. You bet your hind parts. Bell checks stinks on a skunk. Okay. Well, already, Leo. I thought Texas had steers and something else. Uh, uh, Shaylee would like to know what size nipple clamp she needs. Uh, like I said, the ones that I use, these ones here. I don't know how they're measured though, but this is like I mentioned this would be called considered a six inch clamp with a two and a half inch opening on it. Six inch clamps with a two and a half inch uh, opening. Unless you, get, uh, unless you get some of these these clamps, which are basically uh, I think this is a twelve inch clamp. Get carry through your under the bus. He's still waiting for his good blades. Wasn't smart enough to order before they ran out. <clears throat> yes, yes, yeah. I always do there, Justin. Uh, Josh Robert says, hey, you always need more clamps. Yeah, back to you, John. This is a 12 inch clamp, but it uh, the, these are actual also um, um, clamps and uh, spreaders because <clears throat> you can spin, you can you turn the ends around. <clears throat> clamp back on so you can for opening. Nice. And, and you can actually uh you can join like three or four of these together depending on the, the length wow. you're closing up. <clears throat> and you um, never have enough clamps. Or wood glue or or women. Well no yeah you can. And Tommy's workshop said I still had to check what she wrote though. <laughs> uh Larry says, well, we had a mess with my internet to try back later. Prior.
What's that? Larry's having internet issues again? Yep. Uh -huh. Never would have figured that. Everybody take a five second pause so Herb can say anything. That's you, Herb. Hello, Herb. I ain't got nothing to say. Well, poop. I just wanted on record that Charles Daring gave you the opportunity, sir. There's always a first for something. <laughs> that ain't no lie. <laughs> Young kids run on mine, Parsh. Just saying. Josh Grover says, John, are you stack cutting these scent covers? No. Um, but what I'm thinking is I'll make one. Use the template before the other one. I'll just route it out. Bye, Shay. She's heading to the store. She said she'll be back. Buy me a surprise. Surprise, everybody. Surprise. I bought you nothing. I just said that, sir. Just like a snowman came to steal my thunder. Oh, oh and I thought I had something. I thought I had how something warm? smart and funny to say. How warm is it there oh. today, John? It's not that bad, actually. I know it's supposed to go to zero tomorrow. Yeah, it's zero here in Ontario. It's, uh, bu -bu -bu. it's a minus six. Well, it feels like minus eight. And uh, for Charles, I'll give you that conversion right now. I don't really care. Yes, you do. It's uh, 17, 17 Fahrenheit. My word. No, it was my word. It was my numbers. Okay. Well, uh, I, uh, that reminds me, I want to go look at the snow. Snow's overrated. Just snow. Yeah. It's only not for Texas, it's not overrated. By God. It's, it's frozen precipitation. Yeah. You can go skating it. on it. Like it's cold. Um, do do do, Justin. Yeah. My cam's getting vibration from the saw. Why well, nobody else told me that? Uh, because I was too busy trying to be funny, sir. And Josh, yes, we did get snow. That's why I'm going to get it again because it's treating me better than John is. I don't, I, I don't water the snow unless I want to melt it. Be right back. Let's try that. Okay. Is it better? Can you like it? It is not better. We can still see what you're doing, sir. That was a joke. It was a Uh, I wasn't going to eat the yellow snow because uh, I'm a little smarter than that. And, 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 and uh, that was JJE, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Josh Grover says, Well, did you grow up big enough? I'm pretty old for that. Now, John, do you use a, a foot pedal? Yep. Yeah. They're a lot better than a, foot, a switch, right? Yep. Yeah, I like my foot pedal that I have on my DeWalt. See, so the advantage of the foot pedals is you can actually keep two hands on your material when you're starting it up so it doesn't, doesn't start bouncing on you. Uh -huh. And also, you get more control. Well, you got more control of your wood, number one. And you can also control <clears throat> your feed rate as well. Yeah, I drill I drilled one eighth holes because I just 
grab the nearest drill that I had at the time. I didn't need didn't need little tiny holes for them. I should probably do that so I can find the pilot hole quicker. You're awful quiet today, Herb. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm eating. Oh, okay. I'll wait for Sam. Can't get a word in edgewise. Well, that's why I figured I'd give him a chance to. I did too, and he didn't have nothing to say, man. Because I'm too busy feeding my face. Nothing wrong with that. I still have a couple pieces of crisp meal and pizza left I should eat. Mama. Mmm, crisp meal and pizza. <laughs> yeah. Is that better than Papa John's? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I don't have a Papa John's, but if we had, it's actually a Pizza Hut pizza, but it was purchased by Chris Nealon, my bestest, bestest friend. So it came from Nealon Hut. Uh -huh. Josh Grover says, Charles, that wouldn't help you find the pilot holes. Josh Grover, catch my own part. <laughs> <laughs> So Josh was working on a uh, a sword holder <laughs> plaque stand. What do you call it? A uh, sword display case the other day. Uh, he posted photos of it. And I told him that I had a couple swords. I sent him pictures this morning of the one that's already mounted. And I have a second one to mount as well. And uh, was that? we're just, just shooting ideas off of each other. He sent me the pattern for the, his holder that he has on his right now. But it's a, cur it, it's a curved saber, so I don't know if I wanted to lay it flat on the one side. He said just use a mirror so you can see the back side of it. Because it's engraved on both sides. So I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. What size the spiral blades are you using, John? Um, you just using old ones. On my regular, well, these are O twos actually, two O's. <clears throat> but when this one breaks, I might change over to a three because they're more aggressive. Mm -hmm. This MDF just. I don't know. It's a pain in the ass to freaking cut through. Leaves a lot of dust in the uh, cutoff section. Josh Grover said he got the plaque stain today. And he's cool. And Josh, he's using MDF. Not using wood. Yes, oh, half right. inch half inch MDF. Sorry, sorry, Herb. It's okay. I'm being used to step being stepped on. No. What's up? Caught, uh... No, I can't say. <laughs> Is Charles okay over there? He's all of a sudden quiet. He's playing with He's the snow. He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. He's out playing in the snow. Yeah. I was going to say, it got awful quiet, so... Now I can talk. Yeah. <clears throat> And I can. 
We have 20 people, wa- actually 19 people watching, John. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. If we don't have a question on the panel, we'll find one in the chat, and we appreciate you. See, I've never been uh, one of those people that are afraid to breathe stuff in. I don't wear gloves when I'm using toxic materials. I don't wear masks when I'm sanding or painting or anything. So MDF really isn't an issue with me, I guess. I don't know. I never get sick. No matter no, no matter what I do or what I touch, I never get sick. I can go outside and lick dog poo and not get sick from that. Well, I, ain't. I wouldn't advise that. That would gross as hell. <laughs> yeah, just worms. I think my snack is fixing to come up. Josh Grover says MDF is rough on blades. Well, because basically all it is is just uh, sawdust and glue, formaldehyde, uh, some other chemicals and stuff in it. Hey, Steve. Steve Holmes is in the house. Hey, but John says, yeah, you can look at stands need lumber so bad you had to buy one of our lumber mills and enter the interfer has a sawmill just outside of town here. Hello. <coughs> yeah, it's probably just Canadian owned. <coughs> Hello, Steve. Hey, Steve. You go on the panel. I'm sure somebody could send you a link. Charles. Herb. How much does it pay? I'm pretty sure Tina will be there. Man. Tina and Mary, Tina and Marianne are there. I'm pretty sure that's payment enough for for, for, right for on it. It's for enough payment for them. <laughs> <laughs> The link has been sent. So I know uh, Sue May cuts all her designs out of MDF. Now, just curious, but is Sue May a guy or a girl? A girl, Sue. This is not a bad song, sir. Okay. This is not Canada, so you have uh, uh, guys like Kelly and Shannon and Stacy are actually girls in the rest of the world. Yeah. Full stank. Really? We have Shannon and Kelly's and Stacy's <coughs> in uh, the U.S., but we don't have any Sue's unless they're Vietnamese. Uh, what about uh, who's, whose song was that? Uh, Johnny Cash. There you go. Exactly. John. So, okay, okay, North America, the rest of the world is basically, they're all for girls' names. Mm-hmm. Girls are girls. Girl, girl names are usually girls. Usually. Hey, what gender is Um Jiao Tang? <clears throat> I know. I didn't make that up, so I don't know either. Hey, you see him? Oh, Charlie, me love you long time, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you like it for a long, long, long time. You get out of my restaurant. You have 16 people watching, John. And Josh Grover says in USA you could have uh, he can't spell. You could have the uh, the. Uh, you, you can, can have, have a he that refers to himself as a she, them, and then they kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't really believe in pronouns of people. See, hey, Don, we have a normal name. 
We have a John name. Which is a normal guy. Yeah, name. John, John, John. Charles. Even, after, even Herb and Charles is a normal name. Yeah. Well, Herb's kind of unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> but no. Herb's okay. Mm, yeah, no, he's all right. It's just, it's not a typical name these days. That's why he's affectionately known as Herbalistic. That's right, don't you forget it. Oh, guy. And Justin says, Call yourself anything you like, mate. I'll just call you a drum go. Josh Gray <laughs> says, Go to Canada and say, John, everyone answers. That's right, Josh. And they all have their first initial on their t shirts. No, we don't. Well, John said it. You think it's true. Maybe. See? Get your story straight, mister. <laughs> well, I don't have my initial on my on my sweater. Johnny, you don't watch enough South Park, do you? No, I don't. You're also wearing a sweater. That means you're gay. Sorry. Um, we live in Canada. It's more than 60 degrees here. John, on your uh, camera is vibrating again. It's not vicious, but it's... Doing like the upper arm on my scroll saw does. It's wavy when when your scroll saw is growing. Going, not growing. <laughs> yeah. Charles, did you just snort? Why, yes. <laughs> he was trying to cover up the air biscuit. I'm proud of my air biscuit. Need to build a snowman, but the snow's gone. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, everybody. I'm glad my camera was off. <laughs> Hello, Steve. I said, Ope. I said, Ope. Oh. I was having technical difficulties with me. I was trying to go on the link. Chuck sent me last night. <laughs> I was like, why won't this thing load? Where is everybody? Yeah. Josh, get behind first. I am not reading your damn comment. You're a laundry hater. Uh, hi to everybody in the chat. Hi, John, Herbie, Johnny D, Chuck. Hey. Nice to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you today, Steve? Okay, let me see if I can figure out a different thing for my camera here, then. Hello, Steve. I'm doing well, thank you. Josh, kiss my ass. <sighs> dun, 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 oh, oh where's my... Glad you're here, Steve. He needs to get his oh. ass kicked, just saying. I'm glad to be here. Me Your too. table looks really organized, John. Where's my... I'm looking... <laughs> yeah. Really organized. It does. More than mine. I was stuck at the shop all day yesterday and everybody went live. I'm like, are you kidding me? They all waited till I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. no I just is me. My hand. Um, I don't need to be babysat, Josh. If you'll recall, Herb is the one that undresses at will. Justin says, nice That's angle. That's right. I ain't afraid. I don't get dressed to begin with. I'm looking for my handle for my my uh, selfie stick. Why? So I can stop it from vibrating because I'll put it somewhere else. Okay. And it should be here because I took it off like yesterday. Oh, there it is. There it is. So who are we got in the chat? We got Josh. We got Joe. We got uh, Dave Portal and JJE. 
looks like. And God like, knows who else. Yeah, it looks like Shaley was here earlier. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she, so is Larry. Sh Shaley back. Yeah, she had to go to the store to get a generator. And John said something stupid, ran her off. I did not. <laughs> oh, John Cousins, yeah. <laughs> Where did I see a runner off? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to be funny. Uh, John, see the handle for yourself. He's taking your arm. Josh, go to your room. You be an asshole. <laughs> I can say that on John's show. Love Angel. Donna Smith has just joined us. She says, me being shy in the corner. Come on out, baby. Hello, mm -hmm. Donna. Hey, Donna. All right, is that better? Well, no. What what is that flood of wood? Are you not getting enough attention? Under what? that lever. What is that sliver of wood on your your scroll saw? Or whatever the hell it is under the white handle. On the scroll right saw. I think it's on the table. Right there. Yeah. Yes. It's sandpaper. Why? Because my tension arm is too smooth on the bottom. Yeah, give the cam plug or something to grip against. It won't. Yeah. So, so, so when I tighten this up, this always comes off. So I got sandpaper there to stop to get grip on it. All righty then. Get a grip. Yes, sir. Put some poly grip on it. Works for dentures. C bond. Put some C bond on it. David Jones, okay, okay, really? It's not but tweet. Okay, Tom D, be back later, later, David Jones. Don't See you later. Eleven thumbs downs. Take care. Right. See you later, Justin. <laughs> hey, Donna. Oh, I didn't see Justin leaving. Hello, I mean, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Oh, backwards. Yeah, see the nail in the chat. I see. So you're going on later, Charles? I have no idea, sir. Well, why don't you? They're, they're going to do two lives today. I might want to build a snowman. And have your two life crew on. Go in there and get the four or five pair of socks. Put them on your hand. Make mittens and build your snowman. I'm too manly for mittens. Well, sock boy. Call you sock boy. <laughs> oh. Carrie got me these the other day. Well, she, she ordered them for Christmas, but they came in late. They're uh, blood, blood. <laughs> bacon, <laughs> little bacon stockings. Aww. <laughs> the bacon That's Christmas trees. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look, 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 look. You can use them as mittens. Are you a homosexual? Look, Charles. <laughs> like, I got bacon mittens on. Arr. You can all make right, snowballs out of these. Yeah, all right. All right you have fun with them there, mittens. If they would suppose that we could tell. Seems wearing socks on your feet, on your hands. I don't wear socks on my hands. Why not? I have chop gloves, but I don't have keep you warm gloves. Sounds like you put socks in them. I'm not even remotely scared. What am I scared of? The cold. Sounds like you're being a pussy about going outside. Exactly. I'm not a vagina. <laughs> I don't want my hands to freeze. I'm funny that way. That means you're scared. Freeze. It won't freeze. It's not here, but JJ. Well, he said P, -p, -p word. Yes, you heard for JJ. John called me a, 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 a cat. Called you pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> I am not a vagina. 
I never yep. believed, I never dreamed I would ever say vagina on John's show, but I'm saying vagina. Chuck, Josh is asking how cold it is there. I don't know. I'm inside the shop. <laughs> it's warmer than it is here. Yeah. It's a I'm not, I'm not afraid afraid of cold. I, just, uh, I don't know if Sounds you knew like this. You it's kind of cold on your bare hands. Kiss my ass. <laughs> it's not cold. Well, it ain't hot. <laughs> okay. Did you know that it has it's to be warm? In order for it to snow? Huh? Did you know that it has to be warm in order for it to snow? Sure. Yep. Cats have claws and furs, and I'm not a cat. Oh, but I see what she did there. Yeah, if it's too cold, it won't snow. Exactly. So it can't be cold enough to freeze outside. You won't freeze. Um, Just think, Carl. You can go outside, get cold, and come back in. You'll be nice and warm. Because I'm sure your shop is warm, right? If I stay in the shop, I'll stay warm. But I don't mind can't... getting cold. I don't want my hands to freeze the hell off playing them. No. They won't freeze off. <laughs> oh, my wow. hands don't freeze off at minus 40 outside. Come on. Snow, yeah. snow is made of ice. My God, what part of that do I no, have to spell out? Oh, snow is made of water. Oh, snow is made of water. Frozen water, butt nugget. <laughs> frozen water. Frozen water, it would be rain. No, it's not droplets. It's flakes. God almighty, go back to skill. Or in America, so you learn something. You should move up here, Charles. Yeah. I don't think so. Because <laughs> they would give him the duke. <laughs> well, I, th I think uh, Steve Combs said he had a room available for me, didn't you there, buddy? <laughs> I might have a place. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that hick in New York? Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah. Get her up. You can go for it's, a three-hour drive. It, it's not bitter cold here. I'm talking about the actual uh, hands inside of the snow to make snowballs and crap. That's uh, that's pretty cold. Just uh, saying, Charles. Yeah. For you can't put your hands inside the snow. It's a snowflake. Just saying. You put it amongst the snowflakes. You there, you stick. Go. there you go. God, you Canadians are weird. <laughs> so basically, Charles, what you're saying is you're a snowflake to go play with the snowflakes. No, I'm saying I don't want my freaking hands to yeah. breathe. <laughs> no flake. You're a vagina. Sorry, livestock check, and the new horses came, and then Jess Grover says Charles is a sissy. <laughs> you wouldn't say that more than once to my face, Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> you um, had your ass whooped by a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually more fun picking on Charles on John's show than it is oh, picking on Charles on Charles. Kiss my ass, part. <laughs> it's not bad. Well, I, I think the worst part is, is he's actually still on here and just taking it. Yeah, because I'm a manly man. Taking it like a vagina. <laughs> Herb, you need to do something with that China issue. You're saying. Uh, hey, John. He says he's a man, but he can't deal with the snowflake. I didn't say I couldn't deal. I'm sitting with some ass. Come on up. You'll have to do no, it. Oh, you believe it. I, 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 I. John Neal has a question. He says, did I see that Pegasus scroll size going up 10% soon? Wouldn't surprise me. I uh, couldn't tell you. I don't pay attention to their sites. Me neither. Yeah. You know why? It's probably the American freaking tax... Blah blah blah, old crap shit going up. Yep. <clears throat> Free trade, my ass. <clears throat> Why are we gonna free trade your ass? <laughs> it's like it's like uh, a stupid NAFTA. I'm pr I'm uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Trudeau freaking started the ban on NAFTA too. Either Trudeau or or, or uh, Trump did. This is, I'm the only one that loves the audience. So I'm going to read comments. Yeah, go right ahead. I was waiting for somebody to read that one too. Uh, Don Smith, <laughs> mainly man is not part of the song from Men and Tice. Hey, hey, hey. I'm and my okay. first Robin Hood film and Josh can kiss my hind parts and John's vagina. Is 
It's kind of cool, freely saying vagina. Boys mean? have a penis, girls have a vagina. That's off a of kindergarten cop. Yep. You sick pervert. <laughs> Shut up. John May playing it safe. Hello to everyone that has joined since the last time. Hi, John. No, so somebody asked earlier how big this was. I didn't remember answer them. It's uh, 32 by, well, finish size will be 32 by 7 and 3 quarter. <laughs> Thank you for that answer. I, think I was on earlier, but my vagina just showed up. in a box with you where you go what what i understand is that it, everybody's treating it like i said ew, icky i mean bloody hell I, i'm not scared of snow <laughs> uh, if i have a choice to keep my hands somewhat warm while frolicking in the snow i'm going to do it that's not being a socks on i have socks on well then you go you're over. frolicking in the snow you sissy <laughs> Is it really snowing there, Chuck? Yeah. Well, we got said for the first it is. time. Yeah, we just call that a normal day up in Canada. Yeah, it, 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 it's not. It's not really snow. It's just like what an inch of snow. It, it, no, it's about three, four inches. Three Josh to four Trover. inches. Now, Trevor, want to know, Charles? You split the whiskers. Yeah, three or four I inches every Tuesday well. morning. <laughs> That's a Tuesday Josh afternoon Grover. here. Yeah. Even Josh Grover says we call that a duck ring. If you get Josh here in the middle of the summer, I guarantee his little vagina is going to be twitching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perspiring. <laughs> You ain't been to Texas or Josh and uh, Love Angel, Don Smith. They had snow in mine going to Spain. I was there same time 2018. I was shorts and t shirt weather. It's normally shorts and t shirt weather there in mine the dorm, Spain. See, up it's up shorts and t shirt weather today. I was just going to say, up in Canada, there's still people with t shirts and shorts. Out there, the people that were sunbathing today, too. Josh lives in uh, Illinois, so I'm pretty sure Texas can pay, can't compete with that on heat. Just saying, <clears throat> well, it's a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing worse than getting into a discussion with somebody from Nova Scotia and somebody from Alberta. Oh, it's a wet heat. Oh, it's, it's a wet cold out here. It's a, it's a dry cold in Alberta. Shut up. <laughs> cold is cold. Hey, John, you have 16 likes and zero dislikes. And you have 15 people watching. 50? 15. Oh. You said 50. Yeah, I thought, Who the hell did he How say? Did he, get 50? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. <laughs> we don't say a vagina on my show. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out this wood if I could, guys. He's talking about vaginas. <laughs> 
Josh Grover, 15 degrees here today, and we're just wearing hoodies. That's all I'm wearing. Love Angel says, uh, I'm in Scotland where men wear kilts all year round. He, 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 kilts and t-shirts. Yeah, buddy. Josh, if you can insult me, learn to spell. Dave Weber, what in the tarnation is going on around here? Freaking vaginal Canadians. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Oh, wait, I forgot Dave is in Canada, isn't he? He is. Yep. Uh, well, just these two fellas are vaginal. Dave has a D on his T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't Dave live in Ontario here? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I thought y'all all knew each other. No, we don't know all. Don't all know each other. You should. I know everybody in Texas. Full stinky. Yep. Herb, Russ, <laughs> Wes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all you need to know, by God. Billy. Yeah, Billy. How, how, Billy. How is Billy doing? Well, his, his last words were, "Tell John he sucks as a cow." Uh -huh. No, he, he's doing good. He hadn't joined the shows, but he's been home for a few days. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, he'd probably be on my show if you weren't here. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Y'all hold back, whatever you do, okay? Right. <laughs> but, uh, Scotland is like older and more whiskey version of Canada. He, he, he says, what's your face? And, uh... It says, what's your face? <laughs> I mean, Donna Smith. Love Angel. Come here and say that, Josh. I promise you, you won't like the response. Andy Mike says I could. Dave Weber says, wow, I'm from Ontario, Canada, just a bit east of John C. No, Dave, you're a bit east of, oh, well, yeah, well, you're a bit east. You're a lot right. east of me because I'm in Evan, I, I'm in Grand Prairie, Alberta. So you're you're closer to, I think, I, I think you're closer to John. Well, you, you're, oh, fuck, where is he from? Yeah, he's I, close to me. I think he's around you. I think he's in Downsview, isn't he? Uh, or Bradford? Yeah, somewhere around there, I think. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> Where are you from, Dave? We like to play the guessing game. He just said he's from Ontario. Oh, Bloody hell. Yeah. Well, it's like saying oh, you're I... from Texas. <laughs> it's a big area. Yeah, when he mics in the chat. He says, I could live in Scotland, the whiskey party. Man. What's your favorite whiskey, Andy Mike? What's yours, John? It better be CC or Johnny Walker. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's Forty Creek or Crown Royal. John Nave says, "I think he might have meant me." Love Angel says, "I got family annoying, family an annoying cousin in Canada, and he don't answer his messages on Facebook." And Andy Mike says, "Crown Royal." Uh, 
Ah, seriously? And Love Angel says he is in Bancroft, Ontario. Dave Weber says Love Angel, LOL. You want me to hunt him or her down to straighten her or him out? All right. <laughs> Broken blade. Broken three pieces. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Does that, mean we, Does that mean we get the drink three times? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm on it. Donna, do you got a uh, a chart of where everybody's living at? She's referring to her cousin, Idiot. Oh. <laughs> She was talking about, <laughs> she was talking about Dave. <laughs> He's not here. Yeah, he is. He said, he says, he says, that was he a joke. It was a Cheech and Chong reference. Good God on the stake, man. Three to four hours east of Bancroft. That would put you in about Ottawa area. <sighs> oh, wait. No, three to four hours east. That would put you Barry. See, I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing names out now. Miss Saga. <laughs> Agonquin. <laughs> Sudbury. What do you say, Toronto? I'm 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 way north now. A thousand islands. Andy Mike, I'm drinking Mogan David Blackberry wine today. I'm drinking Dr Pepper. I know that comes as a shock to most. I was, I was actually going to ask you what you're drinking, Charles, because you always turned it up. I'm drinking Monkey Pass. And John's breaking blades. Good God on a stick, man. Yeah. No, I didn't break it. We sounded like it. No, it's my bottom blade holder. Again. Chuck, what did you say you was drinking? Monkey Pass. Well, it sounds like Dr. Pepper to me. Yep. Dr. Pepper, Love Angel. My annoying cousin works for Moose FM 105.5 Huntsville. Not sure if it works there now. Yeah, well. Uh, that monkey piss reference would just see if anybody's listening. Of course, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Good Lord. That's what I expected. You can't throw me. Yeah. Uh, it's my purpose on here to throw people and make yeah. River Dinah's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Is Chuck making your vagina hurt? No. Josh, Josh, I, was wait, I was waiting for her to say he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, missed opportunities. <laughs> Lies. I'm proper to the ladies. Even though they still don't love me, Josh says, John need to switch Pegasus Blade clamps because they're holding. They aren't holding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Pegasus clamps are so much better. No. <laughs> I like the sarcasm, but I'm asking, why are they not better? I tried them once. I don't like them. When I had the spring didn't work, so I took it right back off. <clears throat> well, I wish I knew that before before Christmas. I tried them once over Jeff's house on his Excalibur. He likes them. I I I don't, I don't like them though. Okay. I just got a set for my DeWalt, so. But I should give them another try, just so I can say I don't like them. I do think they're ridiculously priced, but that's just me. Weren't they like 90 some odd dollars at Butthole Bearwood? Yep. That's ridiculous. I think so. Yeah. That's where I got them. Her. 
Herb, are you okay over there? Or is he feeding his face? My phone plate, Josh Grover says, John, you know, Ray at Seiko has replacement clamps for your caliber. Yes, I know. Have you considered getting one, John? That'd be you, Herb. Yeah, I should have ordered them when I ordered my blades, because then it would have taken another three weeks for them to get here. Better late than never. Yes, Herb, we were thought you fell asleep. No, I was taking care of some stuff before the wife gets home. Yeah. Were you taking care of business? Uh, yeah, but day? Not, that, not that kind of business. John, you know uh, that green tape is serving no purpose on your table there, just saying. Oh, my God. I explained no, it the other day. Itself. It's keeping the, uh, the camera from fluctuating. Hey, Weber, weird. My live feed was way behind the chat. Must have bumped something. Sorry if I missed any questions directed at me. LOL. I know I'm not that important. You're important to me, sir, but this is John showing he's a vagina. <laughs> I was I was thinking something close to that, but <laughs> <laughs> really, Steve? I was very sweet at the beginning of this live stream, but everybody my, come at me, I kiss my, my head. Minus the John's a vagina part. <laughs> I was a friendly fella when this live stream started. Yeah, you're definitely behaving. That ain't what Facebook says. I said when this live stream started. <laughs> and Facebook, Facebook is a bunch of vaginas today. Okay, I'll go to my room. How many do you have to make of these, John? 73. Like I said, I'm, I, I'm only making the one, and I'll probably just use my router to uh, make the other two. That would be a total of one three. In the, one in the hallway, one in the dining room, and one downstairs in the basement. And then I'll do heat register covers and switch plate covers as well. I haven't been in the basement in years. I'm surprised they don't have basements in Texas because it'd be cooler down in the basement. We got yeah. storm cellars. Yeah, you know what? No, though, basement. They don't. They don't have basements in Arizona either. And I, I had the same thought. It would be so much cooler, you know. But, yeah, it'd be so much cooler yeah. down there. And, and and then when the tornadoes come through and rip your house off, at least you're safe at the basement. Right. Well, uh, same with the storm shelter. But I don't have one. Because, you know, I'll just die. That's fine. And Dave Weber says, it's funny. Your scroll saw head looks just like a nervous chicken pecking away sporadically. Must be the frame rate. Worrying with reality. That's what Stace said, too. I was, uh, uh, was going to put, like, a picture of a chicken head on the side of it. That'd be cool. <laughs> Oh, I should put a woodpecker on there instead, though. That'll be cool. So, so John is scrolling with a nervous pecker. <laughs> Only when Charles is in the room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll have you know I am an ass man. You're kidding me. That's why I'm saying I got a nervous pecker. I'm offended for you because this is your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I like this 03 on this MDF. It actually cuts pretty good. Well, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So many subscribers I've lost for being on this show and being debaucherous. <clears throat> Uh, 
yet. I would have thought your subscription would be up, John. Like more up than 148. <clears throat> yeah, you think though, eh? Yeah. Oh, you're a Canadian. <laughs> you, you, you think, but uh, Charles keeps scaring them off all the time. <laughs> it'll go sense. up five. It'll, it'll go up five. Charles will be on a show. It'll go down six. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Weber. Every time, every time I'm on Charles' show, it goes up like nine, right? Yep. <laughs> I lose subscribers left and right constantly. Uh, uh, Dave Weber, what do you scroll with Charles Rabbit Snake? Yeah, buddy. Our I new mean, media I won't read because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How many subscribers do you have, Charles? Uh, six, six, five, one. That's right. You don't have that memorized. It should be just like your uh, credit score. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't have my credit score. Once check I off my, credit, my credit score tanked. My credit scores are either in the high sixes or low sevens. That's all I remember. Did you just say you're not obsessed with, with, with your subscriber account? Yeah, apparently. Obsessed, no. Or I would have had it memorized. I had huh. to go look. I could I, see if you, I could see if you had like twenty subscribers being concerned with losing one or two. But with with, with as many of you, as you've got, I can't even. You know. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's more about trends because, like, if I find one video I'm losing ten, and another one I'm losing one or two. You know, it makes me pay attention. You know, is it something that happened on the show or people that don't like me? Blah, 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 blah. And it kind of just turned into a habit after that. I'm definitely not obsessed with it, but it's nice to look at every now and then. Josh says, did I hear right? Charles has 666 subscribers. No, 6651. Andy Mike, put Shay on the panel, John, and your subscribers will skyrocket, sir. The power of the vagina. I said that part. <laughs> oh, I should put carry on then. Why don't you put your wife on with you? She's inside. Might as well have her on. She's one person that had dogged me yet. Dave Weber, Josh Grover, I think he said. <laughs> give, her give, give her five minutes. <laughs> I did say yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, is your shop attached to your house, John? Or is it separate? No, it's, it's separate. Apparently, uh, uh, Charles hey. hasn't been reading uh, private chat. I don't see anything in the private chat. All I saw was John's email address. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's a message she sent him to me about dogging you. Oh, bloody hell. Who <laughs> <laughs> sent who, who your message? I care. Chunk them no, the my, uh, my, uh, my shop is about 20... Well, no, not not even twenty. I think it's fifteen feet from the house. <clears throat> I can touch my. I can. My my shop is practically touching my house. It's a caddy corner behind it. Kitty corner. Yeah, caddy. Hush. <laughs> diagonal. Caddy wampus. Yeah, diagonal. It, it's so close that I have a a cable going from the attic over to the shop, just right out there in the elements. Well, you didn't dig it underground? No, that's why it's hovering. Hovering. Well, it's just like Cat5 cable kind of thing. It's not like fiber yeah. optic. Ooh, buku crap. Yes, yeah, Josh says, Andy Mike, it's the power of the leather boots. Andy Mike says, in leather jeans. Y'all are some... <laughs> 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 
Yeah, so I got a uh, double detach, two car garage. It's 24 by 26. Um, about 15 feet from the back of the house. And then I ran a, fur I ran, ran a gas line a couple years ago to get a furnace up back here. And then I, uh, w w when I moved in, it was basically just a uh, stick frame. And then I insulated it, polyed it, uh, the walls and the roof. And then I put uh, plywood. I got four four foot sheets on the bottom, two foot sheets on top, and then I got slap board in the center of the center of the wall. Okay. And then the I got to finish the roof off. There's my furnace right above me. I wonder. If I got a Wi. I got a Wi-Fi. I got a Wi-Fi extender at my front door, down there. Okay, whatever. It's probably gonna get me kicked off the planet. Let alone the strain. Yeah, my warped imagination, or are you taking up more time to refasten your blade every time you reset? Well, he is no. Canadian. No, he is not. No, I'm just having a cigarette right now. Maybe. Oh, <coughs> now, is that a floor stand uh, magnifying light, John? Or is that attached to your table? Uh, I got two of them. Um, the black, the black light that I have right here, is I, I basically just drilled a uh, no. Uh, this, this is clamped in. It's got a clamp on the back, like a, a C clamp, brace on the back of it. And my magnifying glass, my magnifying light one is. Uh, I basically drilled a half inch hole in the back of my table, just drop, drop it through, because okay. of the the adapter that was on the back side of it. And so it's just a through. Love Angel says a South Park impression. Smoking is by I'm going. Uh, uh, Dave Weber says I meant more time on average than Charlie Horse and his Nazi Hagner. No, not really. It's about the same amount of time. Is there anybody that hadn't dogged me in the comments yet? I'm just curious. Oh, I didn't dog you in the comments. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laundry guy. Hey, Indy Mike. Keep your shop warm, John. Yes, that's what most. It, it, it's it's actually a furnace, so it's a. I was about to say that's what most heaters do. That was John being rude because he's a Canadian. It's an eighteen thousand. No, sorry, it's a twelve thousand BTU uh, furnace. It's low profile, basically built for garage for a double car garage. Uh, temperature in here is about plus eighteen right now. It. it Basically, it, it, it's cheaper to it's cheaper to run off natural gas on this than it was to run my three electric heaters that I had in here before. I have a little radiator heater. <clears throat> Basically, I just need enough to uh, enough heat in here to keep the uh, chill off uh, from my paint and my cans freezing. And there's little bowls. But yeah, thanks for warming here. In the summertime, I basically just open the garage door. Get the wind, wind flow going through. John, hey, I haven't, Charles. I'm just listening in the background. True. Indy Mike, I haven't told you, Charles. Okay, those are two that haven't. I just do it online with Charles. I have, uh, okay. Email and says, I haven't begun to dog you, Charlie. <laughs> I'm guessing they don't love John. They don't love her. They don't love Steve. Because, you know, we only do you because we love you. <laughs> I 
like. I, I read that. Even I love you, Charles. John Maeve says, so Charles, how can you post when you go online if you're Facebook jail or are you just going to post it via YouTube? All I can do is YouTube. And uh, I can tell, I can do it in a group chat and email it to Steve, but I can't like post, hey, I'm going live in 10 minutes, blah, 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 blah kind of thing. What are you saying, Steve? You're in Facebook jail? What am I? I called a woman a pretty cunt and they didn't like that. Oh, they threw me in jail for 24 hours. What's the nine something tonight? Well, you're in good company, right? With who? Trump. Oh, Didn't sure. You? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, because she was uh, she was dogging somebody because her shop got broken into and people were saying, well, you should watch this. You should watch that. Like, if you can't help, don't freaking help. Don't be a pretty little bitch. Yeah. I freaking hate bully. But... <laughs> Dum -de 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 -de. Wait a second. No, he was in his mask. I wonder who broke into her shop, though. Uh, the LM and Chifa. No, it's she the had no, it's damn her. transporters. It was about 30, 30 minutes from here. It was two Asian people. I'm sure it wasn't Trump supporters, Jim. <laughs> it was two Asian people wearing wearing masks, but uh, they got license or not, they couldn't make out the license plate, but they got the make of the car. And basically, what they did, it was one of those places where you know people rent space, uh, and somebody had switched a price tag on a table for much cheaper or something like that, and. That's you know considered theft, and that and they pocketed a bunch of jewelry. What kind of car was it? Honda, a Suzu? I don't remember now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't one of the Asian ones. I don't think it's. Uh, uh, damn it! Now I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go look. Just just answer that. Mimi Lord, that she says, "Hey guys, I'm glad I didn't miss you." Hello, Mimi. It was. Uh, a Honda Fit. Ah, yes, he was a Japanese car. Hey, Honda. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. And, you know, male, female, whatever. If When somebody's rude, I lose my ass. Which, in turn, makes me rude, but I'm not rude first. No, you're I wouldn't go that far, but thank you. <laughs> That's just about the only way to piss me off is to be rude to me or me witnessing it to others. I, uh, I can't. I ain't a fan. We're rude to you on every show, Charles. You still come, coming back. Oh, it's, it's building, baby. Huh. It's building. <laughs> <laughs> check John check Johnny B check Steve <laughs> Steve has a whole oh, Steve Neal Andy Mike whole, check check check, check check Josh yeah. check, check, check. <laughs> check 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 Josh is already on the shit list <laughs> <laughs> he just hasn't been banned yet Oh, diddly. I like my snow, may may, but they won't let me go play it if they call me a vagina because I wouldn't go out there without gloves on to play in the snow. No, it's because you didn't have any gloves. Well, because it doesn't usually snow and it's not usually that cold. So we I can handle no gloves in just cold, but when if I want to actually play in the snow like a manly man... I need gloves. <laughs> You're playing the snow like a manly man. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make a humongous, humongous snowman or big old wainer or, or a, a finger flipping you off. I'm, I'm leaning towards that now just for all the Canadians in this here thing.
How about a snowman with a wiener flipping us a finger? There that's too. Go. That's too much work. <laughs> oh, trying, trying to, no, there's not enough snow for that. Yeah, there is. Y'all ain't worth the effort, though. I thought you loved us. <laughs> I thought y'all loved me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we only got because we love you, but we won't do it to anybody else. It's conditional. <laughs> <laughs> you have 17 people watching, John. If you have any comments or questions, blah blah bullshit. We sure do appreciate you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm glad this is a team effort here, guys. Me too. I put yeah. my whole heart and soul into that. You can tell. If you have any comments or questions, throw them on out there. Thank you. Or in or inquiries. That works almost as big as spaghetti. And Dave Weber said, what's today's show's fixation with the V? As John called me a pussy. Why not? I'm with John on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody fuck. John, you might be with me on this one, but we're not doing an Eiffel Tower. Okay. Y'all are some sad sons of bitches right there. This, I ain't stupid. Y'all some assholes right there. <laughs> Just, I, I ain't stupid or not. I know what you're talking about over there. All right, all right. I hope you're a little... Great thing he breaks. Just saying. <laughs> I can't unsee your nervous pecker. And Steve Nealon says he's going to keep his mouth shut. Would you recommend using MDF, John? Or would you rather use wood? I'd rather use wood. That's what she said. MDF is toxic to your lungs. So they say. Can't do everything you read, though. Okay. Dave Weber, Arnold Media Wise, very wise. I think I'll follow suit. Well, you almost had to say you'd rather would because unless you'd have to be MDF if I could. Right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Go to your room. Oh my god, god. That, was, that was beyond vagina. That was the asshole. Go to your damn room, sir. That was despicable. Oh, I'd like to take a thing that would have, John. Sir, sorry. sorry. I know. All of about 10 seconds. God, that made, <laughs> that made Eva look brilliant. Oh. <laughs> wow, oh, yeah. that's bad. That hurt, Charles. Oh, go give me a bright little vagina, boy. <laughs> hey. Well, hey, Jay. At least well, I'm yeah. not scared of playing the snow. I'm not scared of it either. Uh, bloody hell. Midnight scroll. Uh, Shay has joined us again. Why are you using him? Yeah, blah, blah, bullshit. Uh, he's a wuss. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, wood crap. Humidity. Uh, he told you can paint it? Uh, somewhere in there, I got the right answer. <laughs> What's the intake covers for yourself? Yes, his his wow. house, Dave. <laughs> okay, we're replacing these uh, these nineteen seventy metal freaking air intake covers, 
and uh because carrie's doing rentals rentowing in the house so she's painting the walls and redoing the trim and everything else so she wanted new air intake covers but i wasn't going to pay 80 bucks for an air intake cover made out of mdf mass produced with stupid little straight router cuts in it so i figured i would do this fancy one for her then he'll be knitting this doilies one, it's because this you is love only half yes this is only half inch thick so i'm going to make a backer piece that'll be cut out from the inside as well to make a double thickness wall on the edges and uh, that way i can just she can paint it uh, and i'll i'll round off the th three of the edges once i cut it down to size and then she can paint it to match the trim in the house <sighs> that's gonna look pretty awesome when you're done suck up <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bitter today just ignore me <laughs> oh for the love of god what is that oh there's my wife hot dog hot dog hot dog no she don't do hot dogs yeah she usually brings him food and bacon and whatnot no. I us. yeah hi carrie man everybody says hi carrie hi yeah. carrie Charles loves you. Charles loves you. Love you, Charles. Love you. Mary, yeah, says just paint the wood, John. Josh says so. He's doing fancy MDF cover, and then using a router to mass produce these covers. Very cool, nice touch, John C says Dave Weber. You know, or I could just gone down to my router, got my CNC guy, and got him just to do them out. But I have a CNC guy. You just want an excuse to play on the scroll saw. Shaylee says, I don't, I, need, I don't need an excuse to play on the scroll saw. Well, okay, but this way, it's either I'm on the scroll saw in my shop or I'm just in my shop wasting my time watching YouTube videos. Yep. Like, like everybody else is. <laughs> <laughs> But Shay came up with this awesome idea yesterday. She's like, John, since you're on my show and I'm scrolling, why don't you do something too? And I'm like, okay, fine. So then I started doing scrolling out my 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 candlesticks the other day. And uh, Mac was on there. Mac and Dave were on there. And uh, who else is on there? Uh, I think John Nave was there. And uh, they're like, oh, look at this. It's a two-for-one show. I'm like, wow, you know what? We should actually get a bunch of scrollers just scrolling on their own channels all at the same time. No. Why not? Because draws the attention or ADD. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I knew that I, I knew that was somebody, the answer. I was waiting for somebody else to say it though. I hate when somebody burns me good and I don't have a comeback. <laughs> it's good. I, I want it to be on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Charles. What? Um, Wait, here, let me let me change my cameras for a second. You just want to throw a knife on me or something? Just slap me in the no, mouth? No, no, let me change my camera for a second. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Shay was talking yesterday. Oh, and she's like, because because of this uh, whole uh, virtual <clears throat> makers right. thing, this whole virtual <laughs> makers thing, at the end of the month that you you again were not invited to. Oh, kid! I don't give a damn. They could ask me. So, I don't know. I don't do clicks. So, so me, me and Shay were we're discussing. Well, why don't we have our own, our our own scroller virtual maker thing? Uh, it's a neat idea, but people would think we were copying other people. Oh, like the turners and scrollers. I mean, and like the, the virtual. What, thing. I, I guess they got like a pottery. So what? How how are we, how are we copying them? Well, uh, well, I mean, there's there's petty people out there. My main point being, we already do lives. If we could all arrange to do it on the same day, it'd be nifty. But we already do a good job of telling each, everybody about each other without having to be prodded to do it or to make a, a show out of out of. No, hey, the, 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 we're all getting together. I understand that, but it, it there's there's only so many people that 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 they reach. In their their makers community thing, and, and there's so many people that we reach with in in our community, right? So why don't we get together and do something similar, 
for like 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 Shay wants to do like a newbie's virtual thing, and then I can do it like an intermediate one. You can do like advanced one, and then John Johnny can come in as well, and then you know. Nah, if, not if, if Josh had a camera, then he could do something as well. Oh well, yeah, Josh. I mean, somebody has to get the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, and don't, don't, when I say I, I use the wrong words when I'm said, we'll probably be accused of copying. I didn't mean it that petty, but we, well, you we, probably we, will. We all, yeah, because people are well, yeah. we started, but uh, we we already do all we already all do lives and promote each other. So I don't know how it would be any different unless we scheduled it. Well, that's what I'm saying it, it's scheduled thing because the thing is like uh, all. all all of them. I'm, I'm. I don't mean this to sound derogatory, bigotry. All of them, in, in, <laughs> in, in their their group, right? The the yeah. Maker Central group that have that that that, that reach their people all the time, right? Now, I don't think it's all <laughs> Maker Central people, but yeah, go ahead. Well, no, but 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 they they have their their reach of people that, that that they deal with all the time, because the same people are on the same panels, on the same groups, on the same shows all the time, right? So. We need a big name like Charles Deering to head up ours and <laughs> reach more people on 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 our our circle that that, that we envelop, right? Yeah, like like uh, Nick, Stace, Jay. I think I think uh, another quote unquote beer. I don't like the word beer, but another beer I have is it'll look like a click, and that's one thing I hate in the community when I there's a bunch of cold crowd type of people. I, mean, I like the idea. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting us to do it in a way where it doesn't look like, "Hey, look at us." It's about you know sharing and this and that. And I'm yeah, not and the thing is, else, but there are a lot of clicks out there. Like, like Dave says, it. Uh, I think it'd be a switch from trying to think of slightly smutty comments to fart out just to break the board up. <laughs> <laughs> we could be, uh, we could be loose and free, and like, hey, look at us. We're, we're, we're YouTubers as well, but we can get away with it because you know, we're happy with what we do. I think it's a great idea. See, I don't dislike it. I, I, I just, I don't want it to be perceived wrong because uh, there are, or there are clicks out there. I've been people out in the comment feeling like I'm not cool enough to be there, kind of thing. And I'm not, I'm not being a whiner. I'm referring to how I have felt as a, as a viewer in many shows on the chat area. I feel like you know, I'm not part of the cool crowd, kind of thing, or I'm barely worth reading my comment. And I know we're, we're all good about reading comments, but uh, I don't. Yes, yeah, Steve, I know. We, we, he, he was in our chat talking to us yesterday about it as well. Yeah. I, I'm so, so Chuck, your concerns are legitimate. I understand, but yeah, but, but, but I don't think it's, uh, you know. Then again, if somebody thinks we are copying, I'm gonna kiss my ass. There you go. Exactly. Like, like, yeah. Okay, so so okay, what about the second person that had a turning show on YouTube? Do you think he was like, oh, well, this guy's copying me. I had a turning show first. Well, it depends you, on who that person is because there are people like that out in the community. Smash like, 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 okay, who, who, had the first, who, had, who, who had the first scroll saw show on? I don't recall. Did you copy them or did they copy you? You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't remember. That's I, I was I was, it, I was afraid if I said me, it would sound arrogant, but I don't remember. Well, no, no, but 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 it but it matter, right? Yeah, I mean, and I, now, I know now, Russ Clarity was so, my co-host, so, then we parted ways and did his own thing. So, but, yeah. but but did did I copy your show? Not necessarily. We're both scrollers. Exactly, we're all scrollers. She is a scroller. She's got her own show now too. Yeah, but she's Johnny pretty. Johnny wants to do a scrolling show. She's pretty. You're handsome. I'm ugly. <laughs> the good, the bad, and Charles. And the ugly. <laughs> the good, the bad, and Charles. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, I like the idea, but the, if 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 my feedback publicly is welcome then i say we have to be all inclusive because there are way too many people out there in my humble opinion that are made to feel like you have to be known to be good you have to be known to be part of the cool crowd you have to be known for this and that and so and we'll send out invites to the cool crowd who cares well no because if somebody doesn't get an invite then they don't look like a cool crowd so that's that's what i'm hoping to avoid 
We I want sending. every single person in that chat to know that they're welcome to set Josh. Sorry, Josh. I'm just I'm <laughs> doing it because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, in other words, and I know we're like that in general, but I want to stress that even, even if and when we are promoting it, so, you know, we're not better than you. We just want to share. And if you have any and questions, even, you know. Even look at Mimi. She she's part of the cool crowd too. So yes, <clears throat> she just wants to seduce me. <laughs> but you gotta yes, get in line. Tina wants me too. Just saying. Don't throw up, Tina. Please, I have feelings. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> but I do think if we promote it, I, I do think if we uh, see. See, read Josh's comment. Anyway, I forgot what the hell I was going to say because of that. Uh, if oh shit, what was I going to say? Oh, if we promote it, we're likely to have more viewers, so we may want to. You know, maybe I can only speak for me. We may want to at least attempt to be family friendly, because if we're trying to bring in more people in the community, uh, and we're talking about that's what she said, kind of crap. Then it, then it, and I know it's easier said than done because we're used to it. So I think we should focus more on family friendly if, if we make this an event. It was just an idea we were throwing around, right? Yeah, and I'm not I'm not against to it. Uh uh Hernio Media, I know the guy that controls hashtag team scroll saw that could be taken over. Mimi Lord, hey, I'm part of the cool group. Yeah. Arno Media, I got to get that domain. Josh Grover, send out invites to Cool Crowd, but Charles isn't in the Cool Group. I hate to type that twice. Hello, Chris Nealon from the Cool Connecticut. Mimi Laura said, be there in two weeks. Are you ready? Uh, question is, are you, baby? Is there going to be some severe nudity going on? All right, awkward silence. So, yeah. Because I know they do one hour, one hour time slots. Thing is, we got to figure out what we're gonna do for our two hour time slots. <laughs> <laughs> we know we know Charles can't do a, a cut in an hour. Well, yeah, but, but the way I see it, I mean, it, it does. It probably looks good for a show to start and stop in the same show. But is it mandatory? It's not a bad idea though. But yeah, but I, I I got over it after the first two little uh you know festival whatever you want to call it makers event thing. I uh, because I I think I think it alienates people that are trying to grow or trying to get out there. And I don't know. I like the idea, but I'm it for me. I do overthink things, but. I never want to be seen as arrogant or part of a clique or 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 the cool crowd versus blah 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 because I want everybody to feel equal and just as important. And then, Shay, and then Shay was thinking about auctioning or stuff off for charity or something. That's a neat idea. Holy crap, Chuck finally quit talking. How you doing, Chris? Uh. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it seems like Josh might be heading towards one of them experimental time outers things. <laughs> but I think we should need like 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 have have like just one 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 stream yard that everybody would go into, right? Oh, rather, than, the rather, than, rather than all their separate separate stream yards and having to change channels and everything else. Yeah. So we can Just do it online. The What's that? We can do it online. I'm going to thank you more as Dave. That's actually a hell of an idea, John. Because that would make more sense because that way they only got to get into the one channel and everybody else would just go off of those ones, right? Yeah. Uh, Dave Weber, I don't know what Mimi Lord saying. He will not be me, but okay. Dave Weber, oh, nude, naked, I guess. I don't know. Dave, I don't know that that doesn't work out right. Anyway, Dave Weber says, I'm not one of the cool crowd, so I can say this and no, it won't have more effect than flash ones in a windstorm. A show that rotate between makers would hold more appeal. 
like so non-family friendly banter all the time just my two pennies said <laughs> wait well we got to keep it uh, you know we, we, have, we have to have some limits to what we are gonna allow <clears throat> yeah because because the potential for a larger audience at least during that time is there and that's yeah, what, plus, I, that was what children, my goal was when i first started doing live stream and that everybody says you know you're, you're being too paranoid no well, you're more, you're more paranoid than I am, but. Yes, I am. Because I only do it because it's fun. I, I definitely do it because it's fun. I just, I don't want people to think that I don't care how we act on, uh, that sounds wrong, how we act. You know, I don't know. <laughs> So I think what Dave Weber is saying is he likes the idea of it being structured like that without uh, without the non-family friendly. You and know, that's I can, sort of what I started out wanting to do, but I'm, I'm not mad at anybody. Go ahead, Steve. I kind of agree, to be honest. And what's that? Well, I, I I think Dave is uh, about spot on. We have an awful lot of fun on your on your show, yeah. and we try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I and mean, we try to keep it family friendly. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> honestly, it is for the most part, you know. Yeah, I just I, I think y'all trying to keep me on my toes is part of the hilarity, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But we 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 have an awful lot of fun over there, and it is family friendly. I I, I could watch that with my daughter without uh, you know feeling bad about any of it. So well, I think, and we can. I'm guilty of this too. Every now and then, a cuss word will slip out, but that happens anyway. But uh, the sexual innuendos we could probably steer like if somebody says something that could be taken pervertedly we gotta not go <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we would have to act like we were in church and shaley was a nun so john control your breathing oh i'm, I'm uh, see i'm picturing i'm picturing shay in a nun outfit now <laughs> and thigh high boots yep <laughs> <laughs> With a uh, uh, with a ruler, I, I have calmed down. About <laughs> Shay Lee. Is Shay still here? <laughs> Ain't no telling. <laughs> and I don't know what this means. Chris Neal says Hulu could not have a, could not have Billy on. That Hulu might have been a uh, typo, but he's saying could not have Billy on if you're talking about the withholding the sexual innuendos. Not Hulu, you. You could not have Billy on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and God love him, even my brother. I mean, that, that's why I always say Cleo, because he knows what I mean when I say family friendly. It's not rocket surgery. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, come on, if it's you not wouldn't rocket, say it, it's not rocket appliances. Yeah, I was trying to be funny, but yeah, it's a, and I think when I first started being that way, is I wanted to, I wanted to be a go-to channel for you know if anybody had questions, blah blah blah. You know, I tend to push that. I know, but and I'm definitely not a know it all. But anyway, and I want didn't want people to have to worry about what they were going to hear. But then then it got too fun. <laughs> That's what she said would be okay, is what Chris Neal is asking, but that's kind of the same thing as snickering. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like us having fun, but oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, obviously, we couldn't make it a permanent thing because keeping my panel in line and me in line is hard to do. <laughs> what was that? That's a full time job. Yeah. And I don't get paid enough neither. <laughs> and somewhere in the back of my head when I first started, you know, doing these constant live streams, thinking, you know, if there's a sponsor watching, you know, they're if they see going debaucherous, they they won't want to blah blah blah. But then I got thinking at the odds of me getting another sponsor is never gonna happen. Uh as a paying sponsor, anyway. 
uh, love angel Donna Smith back in a moment or back in a mo, but I took that as a moment because I'm brilliant. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking I should actually ask my boss to be a sponsor of my show. Hmm. I'll be family friendly if he pays me. Then he can buy me some more cameras. No. <laughs> you can't be better than me. Mac Pearson oh, he oh, says, oh, howdy, Eric. Howdy, Mac. Hey, Mac. All right. Hey, hey Big Mac. Mac. If anybody's paying attention, the Ravens beat the Titans, twenty to thirteen. Who? Ravens, Baltimore Ravens beat the Tennessee Titans. Ravens against Titans. I'm pretty sure Titans would win any match anyway. No, Ravens yep. beat the Titans. They're, titan They're Titans. They're Titans against little tiny birds. Come on, seriously. Well, well, they lost against them, twenty to thirteen. That doesn't sound logical. Doesn't sound realistic. Well, they, oh, You're the Titan, is right. Fighter dude. Dave Weber says, How does the whole sponsorship thing work anyway? I, I don't know because I got screwed by one. Bear would. <laughs> and whoever's on the panel, I've heard Hooper is there at one point. He may have fallen asleep or he can't get a word in edge wise, but we also have Steve Combs, John Bradley, and and, and, and John Cousins here. And somebody Herb else, has right? his cameras off. Uh, John hasn't talked in a while. I don't know why. I'm oh, just great. Listening. Because Charles won't shut up. <laughs> I'm dedicated, damn it. <laughs> you have 17 people watching, John. What's that? You have 17 people watching. If you have any comments or questions, throw them on out there and we'll do our best to help you. We still do appreciate you. No, you know what? We're gonna stop we're gonna stop answering all the questions. I'm not gonna answer any oh, questions at all. And that's when I stopped associating with John Cousin. Yep. Because I'm here for the people. If you have any comments or questions, keep them to yourself. <laughs> God, I'm muddy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear. We don't want to hear Thomas Andrew. Use Google like everybody else. Come on. I actually uh, learned a lot from you guys. I'm going to see what, what I can do right here. Oh, look. You can put people on timeout. Look what I just did to Josh. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah, he did. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it. His last seven comments to me have been asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't block him. I just timed him out for 300 seconds. Yeah. Josh, I didn't have control over that. Well, actually, I do. I can just take away Charles's. You know, you you, you wrench. just throwing that out there. You did it on my show. <laughs> yeah, Chuck's throwing off his wrench. Well, uh, without going into too much uh, detail, well, no, I'll just go into detail. It, it turned out where I was getting paid by the sponsor, and because I was on disability, and if you can only make a certain amount of money when you're on disability, and I wanted it to be legitimate, legitimate, I wanted it in writing in a contract, and he said, what, you don't trust me? That was my first red flag. He never left any advice. He was brand new to the scrolling community and myself and others. You know, we're not know it all, but we know how the community works, what works and what doesn't uh, in a lot of ways. Anyway, never listened to that. He said he wanted to recoup his costs, told me I owed him forty eight thousand dollars. I said, OK, give me an itemized list and detail of, you know, invoices and crap. So I'll know what I'm helping you to recoup. And he said he would do it and never did it. And so I dropped him because I didn't trust him. He's an arrogant. What? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how he lost, how he lost or spent forty eight grand. Exactly. Yeah, that that was that was it. Well, I asked for a contract, and he accused me of not trusting him. I said, "You run a business, and you're 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 protesting a contract." He said, "No, where I come from, word of mouth and or uh, handshake. No, no, handshake don't hold up in court, but monkey." He also had 30 plus cuttings of mine, which he's keeping to recoup his cost so he can sell them. So I'll never see those again. Yeah, he's just an arrogant. I mean, he was helping me monthly with a with a salary, but then I got a, a one line email. You may want to get back on disability because sales are pretty low. I said, number one, this is not an unemployment check. You don't just jump back on disability. 
He had no people kill. He was an arrogant son of a bitch, and uh, uh, that's why I dropped him. So there's that. I'm not against having sponsors. I'm against having idiot sponsors. And if you go on his uh, live stream, you never see him scrolling anymore. And uh, I'm one of these people y'all can ask me any question out there. Nothing for me is too personal. If it's not if it's disrespecting somebody else's privacy, I can't answer it. But I'll answer anything I'm able to answer. Sure has been quiet without Josh, hasn't it? Yeah, there's no comments on the. They're all afraid. Hell, I don't. I don't get freak out that easy, folks. Don't worry, Josh. We still love you. What, what's funny is John John's reaction to me doing it to Josh when John did it did it to Josh on my show. It's like, oh, oh, oh I did it just to check it out. I told him beforehand what we we're gonna do. Well, I only did it because uh, five or six comments in a row of talking smack. Just saying. Got to to who? Oh, 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 right. The, he was talking smack about Charles. Oh. Yeah. On John's mm -hmm. show. Oh. Yeah, I mean, only ask questions you want answered. <laughs> I'll answer anything. Yeah, but, if you don't want the answer, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, Mac, it just depends on what you're asking. <laughs> I'll answer damn near anything. There's some things I won't, but I don't. There's not a lot. <laughs> Not that this show is about me, I'm just saying I'll answer for you. Back. And I and I I had I hadn't talked about that former sponsor in a while because it wasn't making me look very good being all bitter about it, but it's the truth. Uh Dave Weber, yeah, I'm sitting here trembling, scared, toothless. Charles will delete my stupid comments. No, I won't. Uh three hundred seconds, which I, I think is what, five minutes? I don't know, Herb. Are you feeling okay, Herb? Or can you not get a word in? I'm just sitting back here and let you do the talking. I'm sorry. No, I've been busy. Y'all know me. I'm not a ticking time bomb when it comes to <laughs> muting people. Come on now. Go ahead, Herb. No, I was uh, being a good husband, making sure she had a, a pair of warm clothes when she got home and some hot chocolate. Welcome back, Josh. We sure missed you. Hello, Mac. <laughs> oh, that me up. You sound really far away, Herb. Charles, meet a Josh. <laughs> <laughs> John and Charles they are really good like, I've every, a lot from you guys. everyone missed me but Charles except Charles is the first one that said we missed you <laughs> welcome back Josh where did you go <laughs> Matt playing all innocent <laughs> I always miss the good stuff and Porter Woodworks is back says how do you stan Oh, and Mr. Jones. Lesson learned. Here's a lowly pop, says Chris Nealon. By the way, Chris Nealon, I have one one piece of pizza left. I'm not asking for more. I'm saying thank you. That's why I brought up the pizza because I'm I just just about to finish it. We love you, thank you. Oh, and if I didn't like Josh to a degree, I would have banned him, but it's not my place on his show. <laughs> John's show. <laughs> Josh, you know what that means? It means next time around, Charles is going to bang on his. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, I had to go to the corner, says Josh Grover. <laughs> did you learn your lesson, Josh? <laughs> I thought about what I did. <laughs> Uh, that's some good stuff right there. Thank you, thank you.
just as a non What is that noise in the background? Something sounds like a log in a damn dryer. dryer. It ain't me. It's kind of Steve. Well, no, uh, it ain't me. Steve, well, Steve's not there, so he probably went to go feed his chickens. Uh, it's probably Mary. It's probably Mary. Or Tina. <laughs> oh, Mary, yeah, what you doing that? Yeah, Josh, Josh Grover says I'm not as bad as Ava. He's right. That's why you haven't been banned. And yeah, uh, Dave Weber, I was uh, I was making two thousand a month. I was on cloud nine because I wasn't scared every month of how that crap was going to get paid. And I had gone from six hundred a month disability to that, and I was proud to get off a of disability. And then it just it ended just like that, and. And I had to spend months with no income trying to get back on disability. Anyway, uh, thank you. Uh, Chris Nell is being called to supper. All right. Uh, have fun and enjoy. Who's calling on the AC Ducks? What's supper? That's what people eat. <laughs> Dinner. Sorry about that. That was me. I was I was filling the beer fridge. You ain't supposed to right. throw them in there. Good Lord. I'm just kidding. Well, I forgot to mute myself. It's all good. Why don't you just get a kegerator? Steve? Yeah, that would be awesome. My my, my wife, my, my beautiful wife, is afraid I would drink too much if I had a keg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much beer do you go through a day? What what, what do you want her side? No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm, no I'm asking a question. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> beer? Tell you, uh, I find out who the friends are today. Just yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, maybe a maybe a twelve pack depends on the day, I guess. Okay, uh, so uh, a twelve pack is like three growlers, right? So that would be like uh, a, a mini keg. So a keg would actually make more sense because it's cheaper in the long run, and you get deposit back on on the can itself. But he feels manly so, when he pulls the caps off the bottles. Yeah, but when you pour it right, right, right at the top, and you, when you when you tap that, and you pour it right at right, right, right your oh, that you, you you can make awesome draft handles too. Josh oh, Rover yeah. says Steve filling the filling the fridge for when Charles goes live. Uh, alrighty, Mac Pierce says LMO lucky LMAO likely excuse Steve. See, you sounded like Bruce Willis crawling through the ductwork. And Steve, just saying, I, I, I'm just saying, ec economically, a, a, a keg would be cheaper than buying bottles yeah, and cans. You, you are absolutely right. I actually, the bottles are actually ridiculously expensive. I actually, a couple of weeks ago, switched. I don't know if you all know this or not, but I showed you my beer glass the other day. Yeah, yeah. I've been, uh, so I, I took to buying them in cans and drinking it out of the glass. So, because it's way, way more expensive drinking out of bottles. Yeah, but then you gotta wash the glass, and that's more water, so it ends up more expensive because your water bill goes up. That's the water from Canada. <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> Dave Weber says that sucks. I'm on disability here in Ontario too. Any income I make, fifty percent gets clawed back, and I get to keep the other fifty percent. No issues. Yep, yep. Yeah, I tried to stay a legitimate, so I didn't get you know, like penalized for anything, and I was. One of the happiest days of my life, being able to get off disability. And it, yeah, but of course, it's meant to be. It, what, what bothered me is he thought you could just jump back on disability like it was a un, unemployment check or something. That's what. That's why the system is so hard to get into because people abuse it. Oh yes, yes, yes. I like being abused. Oh, it's your show. Go ahead and get abused. <laughs> Charles, if you don't mind me asking, how long did it take you to get on disability? Well, I had started the process uh, in the late 90s and gave up on it and came back to it uh, around 2001. It took a few months, but uh, these days it's harder to get on it because there are so many people abusing it. But the more documentation you have from doctors, the better. But it's been so long, I don't remember how long it took, but it felt like an eternity. And I don't mind answering any questions, so you don't have to worry about it being too personal for me. I, I'll answer pretty much anything. Are you allowed to ride the short bus? 
No, I, I guess that's only for... Well, the short, short bus was only in school, and I didn't even know what I had. No, no because the uh, the handicapable buses are short buses as well. Well, I don't ride buses. We don't have any here in Gage Valley. I, uh, yeah. Bus, they got their prison buses. Yeah, big white buses. It took me over a year to get on disability. <laughs> And uh, there are people, that, and I don't necessarily blame them, but people that find out you're on disability, you know, like sitting here talking to me now, and I know I'm setting myself up for jokes. Like, like, I can tell, but sitting here talking to me now, you can't tell I have a disability, but, but uh, you know, it's a panic attack thing. And uh, people say, I'd love to stay home and get paid for it. But no, you don't, because you're self-esteem in the ghetto. You can't afford to do crap. And yeah, there's that. Yep. It sucks. Yep. Yeah, but once we meet your brother, we know we know when he's on disability. <laughs> yeah, we both are. I believe I was on it before him. I don't remember. That's because you're catch, older. I didn't catch the beginning. No, I'm I'm younger by eleven minutes, eleven seconds. But oh, I didn't hear okay. the beginning of your joke. What was it? At, after talking with after talking with Cliff, we 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 knew at least when you were on disability. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he had to get out of the military because of his he he tried the military and he got a medical discharge because of his his got worse i i have memories of i guess you can call it being awake nightmares i don't know what they call that but uh it's so it's hard to explain basically what a panic attack is is fearing a fear itself you feel like you're going to lose control, even though you can't really die from a panic attack. You can't convince yourself of that during one. Part of it's mental, a lot of it's chemical imbalance. Hello, Lordy, I'm getting full. Yeah, well, don't hope we ain't got none of them taco seasoning. And the beautiful Stace is in the chat. Hey, Stace. Hello, hey, my, my love. love. How you doing? Hey, Stace. I can remember being five years old and and, and the feeling I was feeling. It, 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 you know, all you could do is cry because you couldn't explain it. It, it. It's really, it's hard to explain. Where she's saying night tremors, night terrors, it was daylight. You know, it, it, it wasn't related to sleeping. But, uh, and the reason why I keep talking about it is trying to uh, el eliminate any unanswered questions. So I'll stop talking about it unless there's another question. Oh, okay. So, Not that I mind. We got the beautiful stuff. We got the beautiful Stacy here. Is the sexy Nick here as well? No, I'm Nick put back to sleep. I think night terror. I don't know for sure, but I think night terrors are like you know getting woke up out of your sleep with nightmares kind of thing. I could be wrong, but this was you know like wide awake. So. Well, John, I think I might leave you. Love you and leave you. Ooh. All right, Johnny. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Glad you stopped by. Thanks for having me, boys. Later, home. Later. See you later, Johnny. Yep. See you. <coughs> oh. Hey, Lee says, can I lift a generator? And Nick is here. Hello, Flamer. Flaming Turner. Hey, uh, Nick. Depends. Uh, hey, Hello, Nick. Nick. Uh, Shay, it depends what kind of generator it is. Does it have wheels and a handle on it? If so, you can just roll it. Uh, if it's like a 2000 watt generator, you should be able to just carry that too. Two people make more sense though. Just get the kids, uh, put it on a dolly or get the kids secured in. And but there is a chance you might break a nail. And Love Angel, I got punched in the back due to his night terrors. Yeah, that's uh. More of a nightmare thing, but yeah, my dad had those Vietnam related. Uh, it would depend on the size of the generator, says Mac. And hey, Nick says Mac, and we're caught up. Love Angel says he just missed my head one night as well, but he woke up proper. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but I do uh, think 
Uh, forgive me if I'm hitting any soft areas for any anybody, but I do think in this snowflake generation, a lot of people are being overdiagnosed with certain mental disorders. And it's not necessarily related to Trump, but an example is if you need therapy because Trump won the election last time, oh, okay, second to last time, then you, you have issues. John Charles, I'm guessing, and Herb, Mac, Steve, Donna. It's me, Herb, Hooper, Steve Combs, and John Cousins. And hello, Nick. <laughs> I think Steve's still there. I'm still here. I'm feeling a little... I mean, Nick didn't make all the explanation points and whatnot. I believe my name. Well, at least you get those. <laughs> You're feeling what? Feeling a little, a little rejected, a little left out right there. I need therapy. They usually say, Dave. Yeah, usually it's all, they make a big deal out of it. There you go. Ah! There you go. Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs> Dave had to have one to himself. Yeah. Isn't it like this? Steve! Steve! It's yeah, pretty much just like that. Uh, if my wife reacted that way, y'all wouldn't see me as often. Look how dirty this MDI is. Dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you snort a line of that? Don't, don't actually do that. <sighs> Why not? Uh, uh, because it's not good for you. Yeah, so they say. I did it once and I smelled colors and tasted music. What is MDF made from? Medium density fiber board. Well, that's what it stands for anyway. I don't know what it's made of. Sawdust, glue, and dead people. Does MDF cause cancer? Oh, only in California, apparently. <laughs> yeah, see, it's because of the formaldehyde in it. Yeah, it's surprising what ain't good for you in California. Nothing is good for you in California. Only in California, though. The rest of the country, fine. Just That's California. Like politicians. Just saying. That is Soylent Green, says Love Angel. Whatever the hell that means. Soil and green mm, tastes so good. You don't know what soil and green is? I just found it too unintelligent for me. Sorry. You should read it. 1984, George Orwell. No, Mac Pierce says California isn't good for you. Water will cause cancer in California, says Josh. What's his face? And Love Angel says, apart from pooing in the street, it seems. I'm going to go see if I have any snow left. So Nick and Stace, what are you tubing up to today? Were you, uh, Stace, were you gonna do a live today? I think or something. Making a cut. She did make a Facebook live today. Oh, Lordy. Yep, I'm going to be hitting the uh, looking Bit. for sleep. 
there in a few minutes after that bowl. Yeah. So were you asking about eating oatmeal for supper? I just, is it wrong to eat oatmeal for supper? Some people no, say it's only breakfast food. No. You can eat oatmeal whatever you want. The thing is, it basically <laughs> fills you up with a lot of fiber, so you might be watching yourself. You might have to get up in the middle of the night, though. No, I didn't take care of all that problem earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Airbrushing practice. Nick says, and Stace says, got to finish it up. I did a Facebook line and Insta. The video will be released next week. Next week? Uh, why are you telling us now? Be next week? Why did I see it today? Get our hopes up. <clears throat> I miss you, my favorite couple. I can't wait a week. Oh, love says, uh, grr, my mouth has died on me. I'm not sure. Are you talking about your computer mouse or your little pet thing? Because it's like, I mean, one needs batteries and one ain't, ain't coming back. Uh, yep. Well, I see the love wasn't discontinued well of you. Know? Making yellow snowballs? No, it is. It hadn't snowed much since I came in the shop, though, because I can still see my footprints from when I came in, came into the shop. The perimeter, like, up against the house is starting to melt, but yeah. But I did make a snowball without my hands falling off. So, look at your build, Chuck. And nobody, nobody got to witness it. But I pounded the hell out of my shed. You saying? You go. Go, Charlie. Go, go, Charlie. Go, go, Charlie. Go. So, so Donna cleared that up. She said if it was a computer mouse. And Jeff Gruber says, Steve, what about the mouse that needs to be plugged in? Well, those were from the eighties, Josh. I have a plug-in mouth. Yeah, okay. Never mind. John made fun of me a long time ago for that. Because he's got to be different. Well, the way I see it is if I'm right next to the, the device, I don't mind having it plugged in. Hell. <laughs> well, I just like having a mouth in my pocket. <laughs> I'm a Dave Weber says so I have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, and every once in a while they poop out at the same time. I have to reboot the laptop. Irritates the nice guy out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen me trying to log in earlier to the to John's live stream here with the the link that Chuck sent me. I was using the link that Chuck sent me yesterday. <laughs> I was a bit irritated. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah. I, I've done that before. Yeah. Wait a minute. He just sent me the link. How come ain't nobody there? Then I look. Oh, it's Charles <laughs> Lynch, not John. I know. I know when uh, uh, in our chat, when I, I uh, Charles had his one in there, and then I posted one for Shay, Shay's live that Russ, Russ come over to Shay's show instead of going to Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that didn't take long. I wish I could get my wife and stepdaughter to make a damn snowman with me. We could do something as a family for once. Wow, this MDF is so freaking dirty. Dirty, okay, so like, dirty, dirty boy. I get a brand new keyboard two days ago. Look how freaking Bloody dirty hell. it is right now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's yeah, brand new. Puff and he blew it all away. Oh, look, that's a that's a wireless mouse. Put oh, a good. Cell on it. Why don't you go eat some caviar now and kiss my ass? Oh, my <laughs> it came with the keyboard. I think it was $16 for the keyboard and the mouse. Good, good, good. No kidding. And it came with the batteries. See, batteries don't run out if it's plugged in, just saying. 
Just saying. That's why you're supposed to be prepared to have a whole drawer full of batteries. Did you ever trip over the laptop or over the cord and pull your laptop off the other scroll saw? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> But that's not from the, the, the mouse cord. It's from the power cord crap. Oh, okay. I pulled my headphone my headphone cord off and had a keyboard and my laptop go on the floor. Josh, being about as lame as you can be, John, put a leash on your mouse so the mouse doesn't end up in the mouse trap. <laughs> well, you got a thing for Josh today, ain't you? Well, have you been reading his comments? Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where it came from, baby. Well, what did Charles have an issue today? Well, I don't know, Mac. Well, freaking read your comments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't treat Steve Neal in the same way because I need a wet light. <laughs> Stacy Stay says, John, you finally updated from the Windows ninety five keyboard. What's that? Stace, Stace says, John, so you finally updated from the Windows 95 keyboard? Yeah. Well, my, my laptop, uh, my laptop's got Windows 7. <laughs> I'm looking right at the sticker on it. <laughs> yeah. Windows 7, actually, how old is that? Yeah, I actually want to mine those too. Yeah, I need to update my laptop, but I was at Staples yesterday, and they want like twelve hundred bucks for a new laptop. Yep, they' proud of them. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm getting sleepy. Got a full belly. Got a full cup of coffee. I'm set. Coffee don't keep you awake, though? No. no Dr. Pepper don't keep me awake. Well, I've been finding lately that uh, I, I used to drink coffee at night. And it was, I didn't have a problem with that. I'd go to sleep. But lately now, I think it's too much too much caffeine throughout the day now is keeping me awake. Okay, I got three more three more cuts, and that's it. I'm shutting the show off. Aww. Come on. Oh. Wow. Three, more, three more cuts, and then I'm going to stop cutting because this is a, I'm actually going to start sneezing here right away. Aww. That's you. I don't ever get sick. Oh. So it'll be half done this anyway. And he'll resume <laughs> it two weeks from today. Exercises. I have the strange sensation of being tired over here. It's kind of weird. Charles, tired, really? Yeah, I am. Miracles never cease. Is that white? Huh? You said earth. I said, was that white? Nope, just a an inwards burp. It sounds like a hiccup because I'm wired backwards. Um. So that means you ain't going live, Jeff? Uh, I don't know yet. Well, let me know and I'll plaster it all over Facebook for you. Much obliged.
Yeah, Dave's Dave's picking at me. One that one of mine does too. To, to, yeah, I one 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 that I got I had given to me for work. It was our diagnostic laptop, and the, most of the diagnostic software for some reason used to run on Windows Seven forever. And uh, like like uh, end of last year, uh, most of the software upgraded to Windows Ten compatible. Uh, IT was just they was just throwing it out, and it's a Dell Dell Toughbook rugged. It's a it's it's actually a really really nice laptop. So one of the IT gave it to me. So yeah, that's the one that runs on Windows Seven. Oh. Well, fellas, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go get in the recliner. I've been sitting in this desk chair too long. All right, Herb. Thanks for stopping by. All right. We'll see you all in a little bit. Herbie, I'll see you later, brother. Uh, I'll be on here. I'm just going to get off here and be in the chat. All right. Very cool. Laters. Jeff Grover says, John, does press and seal work on MDF? Um, it probably does, but I didn't use it. Reason being is because I don't feel like sanding down my MDF because I don't, because the, the problem with MDF is that if you put a sander on it, it basically digs right down and you'll end up with a curvy surface on it. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it'll get clean enough off in order for it, for it to stick on. I'll try it on another piece though, just to see if it does work. But uh, I just I just spray glued this right on here, <clears throat> and then I'll run it through. I'll I'll run it through uh, the sander <clears throat> or the planer actually to get the pattern off of it. Then I'll know it'll be the same thickness that I need. Because being uh, half inch and half inch thick, it'll make it one inch thick, and I only need actually seven eighths. So when I put the, I'll glue the backer onto this, it'll be in clamps for at least 48 hours. <clears throat> and uh, I'll probably just run through the planer just to get my, my uh, depth down the way I need it. So John Neves back says back guys, livestock are all down now. What did I miss? Uh, not much. John John's almost done cutting. Yeah, it's one and a half more cuts here and I'll stop cutting. But I'm you know, I'm I'm also thinking I might put a uh, router slot on the back of the backer piece for this. I put a screen on it. Just because I know, like, I know we don't we don't have mice in the house, but just to stop like bigger beetles and stuff from going into the furnace, maybe beetles and spiders. And also that way when the tortoises are in the hallway, they don't drop stuff down their furnace as well. Yeah, I think stuff accidentally getting sucked up in there would be, you know, that would suck. What's that? I said, I think stuff accidentally getting sucked up in there would suck, you know? Yeah, exactly. 
Look how everybody's gone. Just you and me left. I can't see the the thumbnail, but yeah, it kind of sounds that way. Even Charles is gone. Uh, do you think he went to go start to show up, or I don't know. Probably gonna play in the snow again. Yeah. Yeah, John may have noticed that too. Uh, Charles or Herb? Herb uh, has he's sitting back in his easy chair, so he's he's no longer on the panel. And, yeah, uh, Herb's on his recliner. He should be in the chat in a minute here. Yeah, and Chuck apparently ducked out without saying anything. So I, like John said, playing in the snow quick. Okay, one more cut. I'll be done half of this anyway. Yeah, there's Herbie. Says, no, I'm here in the background with you. And he's in the chat. There he is. Yes, sir. Josh Grover says, John, we finally put Charles in muted time. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Yeah. You know, the one thing about MDF, you don't end up with tariff side of it, though. No fuzzies yeah. on the back to clean up. Yeah, it's going to be clean both sides. There's so much dust, though. So help me out here. I, 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 haven't, I, I didn't pick up what you said about putting a backer on it. Oh, uh, let me finish this cut and I'll show you. I'll, I'll go yeah. by the screen. I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, Dave Weber says, uh, what blade are you using, John? I started off with, with, with an 01. I changed to an 03 because it's actually more aggressive. And uh, I, I find I'm getting a better cut of this because it's half inch thick MDF. <clears throat> They're pretty big pieces of cutting out too. They're not like small, small intricate detailed pieces that I usually cut. So let me just clean this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about a backer for it. Okay, so <clears throat> let me change my other camera here first. Uh, was that use smaller blades than Charles does most of the time? Not trying to be picked, just learning here. Yes, I uh, I always use smaller blades than Charles does. Uh, most of my most of my work is more detailed than Charles, but on a smaller scale. So, like like uh, Charles' cuttings, for example, let's say uh, twenty four by thirty six. Uh, I'll take the same pattern and put it down to eight and a half by eleven. <clears throat> 
So I got I got the same amount of detail, only on a smaller scale. So I, I use a lot smaller blades. Uh, most of my cuttings are not larger than 24 by 12 for like uh, most of my signs and stuff. <clears throat> so uh, all my my patterns and stuff are scaled right down to make them smaller. So <clears throat> show you what I'm doing here. So because this existing uh, fresh air intake cover is uh, seven eighths inch thick on three sides, the bottom's only half inch with this bend over on here. So yeah. you can see the difference in thickness there. So what I'm doing is this will be my front piece. <clears throat> so this will be the front piece for it, right? And what I'm gonna do is use another piece, <clears throat> this one here, on the back side, which will only cover the outside frame area. <clears throat> so it'll only be one, one inch, inch and a half, and then one inch on the back side, like one, one inch, inch and a half, one inch, the inside will be cut out. Right to allow for the airflow to go through. Yeah, I got you. Be because of the thickness of that one, that because I I know that on the uh, on the floor as well, they they I don't know why, but they they, they not notched out the hardwood floor, right where the air vent is at. So I, I I need the thickness for that to allow allow space for that, and then when I'm finished cutting it and gluing and gluing it together, I'll uh, basically just router the three sides. Probably use a nice o OG bead bead edge on there and uh so what i'm thinking as well because because the holes like i said because the holes in the front are so big the tor tortoises tortoises when they're when they're on the hallway they might drop something down the holes so i'll probably just uh router cut a uh, probably a rabbit in the back side and just put a uh, screen in the back side of it as well so that'll kind of cool it's done <clears throat> yeah absolutely but, but as a better view uh like that <clears throat> There you go. So it does cut real nice, but uh, it's it makes a huge mess. So I'll be work on this for the next couple of days anyway. But it's a huge mess in here. Yeah, it looks like it. But. Uh, so, hey Shay, just give us a sec. Shay's here. Hello. Just in time for us to say goodbye. Hello. Sorry, yeah. it was a crazy day. It was crazy. I just got home. Why was it? Why was? Why was well, it a crazy went, day? Well, because Sunday was my shopping day, so I went to grocery shopping, and then I had to pick up the generator, and so I've been running around all day. And I haven't even had time to sell but, yet today, which is really bad. Well, I thought you had gro I thought you, I thought you had groceries delivered last night. I did, but I do like a bulk shop, so like, like I go to Sam's, what's called Sam Club, and uh, they have like bulk items, and so I usually do like my meat at a different store because I don't like buy meat from there, and then I do my bulk shop at Sam's. So, but I usually do that on Sundays because. Um, I don't know. It's the thing I picked. <laughs> so, uh, you got a Costco down there. Do you have a Costco in the area? I have a Costco membership too. So I use Costco and Sam's. Um, I do get my meat from Costco. Um, I like Costco meat better than Sam's stuff. So, um, but Sam's Club has better snacks. But don't you have like you get air miles, air miles at Costco though, right? No, I don't think so. What do you mean no? You don't I get air miles at Costco. We we get air miles at Costco. I just have no. a store. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that generator you you should, you should really carry that generator by yourself. Yeah, it was 120 pounds. It's the same same weight as I am. But uh, the guy that lifted it in the car, he didn't like help or anything. I was like, really? You like are a weakling. <laughs> He's like, like, <laughs> like holding it. I'm like, walk out. <laughs> And then Brian carried it in. I wasn't worried about when I got here because Brian could carry it, but I was like, I don't know if I can lift this thing in my car by myself. And then the guy came out to help yeah, yeah. and he didn't do anything anyways. So I was like, well, that was pointless. He was like, it's, I don't even know what he's doing. I was like, are you going to like help or not? Nope, nope, he's not going <laughs> to. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah. So you 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 were up early, but you were up late last night. But you're not. You haven't done any scrolling at all today, or what? No. So I got up early, and then I did some stuff, and then ended up going back to sleep until like eleven thirty, and then I ran to the store. So no, I didn't get anything done. Which I'm totally bummed about because I have so much to do. So I'm gonna be scrolling for the rest of the evening. Um because I have to get it done. You going live? Uh, probably not, because I have to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get Sorry, nothing, uh, nothing done when I'm live. You could always like, do it. L- 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 like when 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 Wes did his shows, he basically just did Facebook lives, and he had music going in the background, and he always got he always got caught for it all the time though but he would he'd, he would just have his camera on and he would just scroll and he would just be I mean, he would look at the i mean i can do that so he would he would look he, 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 of, so yesterday on my live i was able to do like this section of the trunk and then yeah. last night when i got off my live within an hour i had all of this part done <laughs> 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 yeah, see, that's the problem with our lives, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't get anything done. Like, I and I scroll slower, so um, when I'm on a live, and I don't know why, but I am, I can, I scroll faster when I'm not having to worry about like, did something, did I miss something, or because I can't hear because I'm on headphones. So, um, yeah, so it does it. It makes it go way slower. So I'm gonna finish this elephant and then print off another portrait that I gotta do and get at least drilled and hopefully started um, tonight. So that's my goal. Cool, cool. Because I know I was I was just finishing up right now, and because uh, <coughs> this MDF is really freaking dusty and it's such fine dust, it's unbelievable. <coughs> and the, like I said, uh, the, only, the only reason I'm using MDF is because it's gonna be painted. <coughs> Well, just paint. Okay, there's got to be a time where you'll paint wood, like. Nope. At the, I'll stain point. wood, but I won't paint wood. But you're oh, but it's not wood. It's MDF. You gotta do wood. When you yeah, like, like uh, I'll, I'll paint MDF, but I I won't paint wood. <clears throat> well, why would I put money in, in into wood if I'm just gonna paint it? I mean, that's true. I get it. The the you, the, the, the see see. see See, because because the thing is, even when I go pick up my plywood, I, I check my plywood for uh, the, 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 those biscuit voids in the back sides because that's going to be visible, right? Like, I, 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 I'm pretty picky w- w- with the plywood I pick up even and to make sure it's got a nice grain pattern on it and everything else, right? So, uh, be- because I can stain it, you'll still see the grain through it. Even if I put a clear coat, you'll still see the grain. That's what I'm, I'm particular about the grains on my wood, right? But the thing is, MDF, like if I'm going to paint it, I'll just use, use MDF. And I, I, I tell my customers that. I said, is it going to be inside or outside? They're like, well, it's going to be inside. I said, okay, what colors do you want? Oh, can you make it purple and yellow and blah, blah, blah? I'm like, okay, well, then it's not going to be wood. I'll make it out of the MDF. Oh, okay, yeah, th- that's fine. That'll work too. Okay, that makes sense. I haven't actually right. cut MDF, so I have no idea. But I don't paint my wood either, so... <laughs> Yes, John. Re- re- reading the chat really slows the panel down too. <laughs> but we try to read as much as we can. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, if I can go live and not talk to anybody and just scroll, I'd be, I totally do that. But I, I can't do that. So that's why you need a panel. That's why you need a panel. Yeah, but even that slows you down. So I don't know. I think I'll just. I, I probably will do my time lapse video though. I do like doing those, and I think people enjoy watching those because they don't take very long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Max has the his issue with MDF is it's not very durable. If it's up on the wall, that's okay. If it's it's terrible, if it needs to take any use, <clears throat> depends on what it is too. Because I I I made two sensi sensi cabinets basically. So that uh, uh, I think there was six warmers. Uh, so it was two tiered. Uh, you can put warmers on top, uh, the uh, fresheners on the side, on, on the front. There was something on the side as well. I, I put six, uh, three duplex outlets in it so, so that she can plug her, her, her warmers in. And when, 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 because she was a Sensi dealer, that way she can go 
go to a place, pull them out of the truck, set them down, and then just load them up. And uh, she loved them, and uh, she painted them with green and pink. I think it was. But uh, that's just her thing. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, well, I'll make my MDF thing because it's there. It's it's lighter than plywood and is more durable and everything else. But <clears throat> but because they were only interior use, that's all she used them for. And she actually sold them after she cut. She stopped selling Sensi. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave says yeah. he's really particular about his grain too, especially when it goes in alcohol. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to be on this, these for a couple of days anyway. I'll be going live again later. Uh, I know Charles will probably be on later. Uh, thanks for being on the panel, guys. And we'll answer in the chats. Any other questions, let us know. PM us to us. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Other thanks, than that, sir. have a good night. We'll see you on everybody else's shows. Thanks, Sorry, Steve. That's cool. Thanks for having me.